Say hello to the people that are watching the VODs. Hi, VODs. Hey, VODs. It's good to be back. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. Sorry <laughs> for all the scuff. It happens. It probably will keep happening. <laughs> so, hello, yes. everybody. So, we already rolled, and now it is Ambrose's turn to tell us what happened. Uh, uh, now you can go. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, last time we continue off in this monastery where we had previously met an encounter of mimics that threatened to try and eat us in various manners uh, after a certain someone tried to eat it instead. But we decided to explore the rightmost side of the monastery, going through a couple of the rooms in a moderately efficient and safe manner before we were beset by, well, rugs. And also, ceilings. <laughs> and we did a great job fighting them. Totally. Nothing bad happened. We totally, we totally were, like, slapping each other upside the head. We totally weren't, you know, failing to stab them half the time. Everything went perfectly. We took no damage. Dude, dude, that's a, that's, a, that's like a part of comedy, though, is, like, the serious <laughs> people always have to get into the goofy situations. I mean, hey, it is what it is, you know? But yes. But no, in reality, we got wrapped up pretty good, and we, we took a bit of damage. <laughs> So, uh, we did eventually deem that the rooms that we were in were abandoned and likely ransacked for whatever was there at some point. Uh, what happened during that point and when and why, we were currently unsure. But due to the injuries we had sustained, we decided to take a rest uh, using a couple of dressers and whatnot to board up one of the rooms that we deemed were previously safe. And we took a little bit of time to short rest before we continued on. And we found that most of the temple, at least the northern side, was pretty well flooded for some mysterious reason that we still don't know. So we decided to return to the main area where we had a long corridor that was on either side had a couple of mysterious armors that seemed to depict some sort of uh, group or pr person. And continuing down this part of the temple that we were technically at before but never actually went down, we found ourselves in this open hall where we saw this very large, like, vault-esque door with some lights around. And here, we found there were several more pieces of armor. Uh, these uh, suits of armor that were kind of either trapped or just kind of behind some doors that gave it off put us a little bit. But the really off putting part was the fact that when a certain someone went towards the very northern part where the vault door was, a sort of message was relayed around this kind of main hall in the temple talking about how a couple of, presumably the monks, were down in the vault, the only ones left, after something had invaded the temple. And they are now stuck down there, alone, and maybe not, might not have much time left. So they asked us through this message to try and save them. And that is kind of where we left off. Correct, correct, correct. It is where we left off. Let me, uh, Quartz, I'm pretty sure your token is all the way down here still. If not, I removed it. Uh, let me drag you into the main hall where you guys are. Uh, just oh. to remind you, uh, the main hall that you guys are currently in is a very large area. It is somewhat flooded. You can see water is about, like, I don't know, a little bit over ankles deep. Um, let's see, I'm pouring over there. You can see uh, around the place there is a lot of um, armors, again, decorative ones depicting uh, what seems to be people. Uh, you heard the message coming from some of the armors on this side. What triggered the message was Kipper 
going uh, to investigate the large door that uh, you found at the end, uh, which I will remind you, it is a very large stone door with uh, the carvings of a star. It has four uh, torches that are unlit. Uh, it's a well, four-pointed star, by the way. Uh, does like Torn? Does she like? Uh, can I do like a perception check or something? Does she recognize the symbol or anything? Of course. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Give me a. I would say give me a history check instead of perception. History. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see with a new sheet. Give me one second here. Don't you worry. We were trying to figure it out later. I'm glad that they updated the sheets now. Uh, now items are there and uh, we can level up now. So we don't have to worry <laughs> about anything. <laughs> That's good. Leveling up is nice. It is. Uh, I'm trying to see where they have Hopefully it we'll here. be doing a lot of it. Oh, hopefully. I hope none of us die permanently. We level up right now. There it is. Okay. Hopefully not. Stop being evil. <laughs> no. Eat a Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Did anything uh, happen? Oh. Did um, gleam anything? I don't think you did any... Uh, oh, there you go. Oh, Whoa! I'm Whoa! Lagging. Yeah. You were okay. dreaming. You were studying in your sleep. You, uh, you I, know about things. <laughs> okay. Can I see a couple more? Because I was lagging. That's fine. We will take We will take <laughs> the first result uh, of, uh, of how many come out. Don't worry. We'll take the first result. Because that was technically the first one. <laughs> There's another one. Uh, yeah, there it is. Okay. So, with that amazing uh, Dirty 20, I can reveal uh, Torin. The star that you see in this door is a depiction of Crania, the god of creation. Uh, you know uh, from uh, many, many cultures, uh, some of them have this uh, deity portrayed as a four-pointed star. Ah. Uh-huh. Um, also, um, because you had a very good history check, you now just realized um, this monastery, it sounds very familiar now that you start kind of placing, you know, your information together. Now that you realize, hey, like, wait, hold on a second. I kind of know about this place. This place, um, actually, uh, from your travels, because of course you are somewhat of a merchant, you would know that this monastery, it is called the... Like, if I don't mess it up. <laughs> it is yes, that's the... the name you made. Yes. Casual DMing. Of course, <laughs> I do. I have so much information, you guys... I do this all no the idea. time, man. <laughs> it is the Monastery of the Four Elements. Oh. Mm. Uh, oh. Sounds mm -hmm. familiar. You would know, as a matter of fact, <laughs> how they are basically kind of um, kind of loners in, in their own studies and stuff. Uh, they, they often go on pilgrimages and like, you know, they, they go out on out of their way to get their, you know, resources for uh, to keep their stuff. And I mean, nothing too intricate about it. You would also know, as a matter of fact, of an insane amount that, yes, um, it is said that they contain a lot of information behind closed doors. And uh, lo and behold, there are two closed doors in front of you. Okay. <laughs> but which one's the safe one and which one's the trap? Well, they are both the same door. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> they are two main doors. They are both closed. So it's a big double door. It basically. is a okay. big double door. What does they say? It's a big stone door with a four pointed Ooh. star, like kind of carved into it, and uh, four unlit torches on them. 
But what if we open the left door? It actually leads to a completely different area. Hmm. Maybe. So Ooh. after hearing the this message coming from one of the rooms, the many smaller uh, display rooms where these armors are, uh, what are you guys doing? I could share the information if nobody else knows. I can kind of yeah. like tell everybody. Totally, totally. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'm to the best of my ability anyway, sorry. <laughs> but hey, everybody. Um, this place is really familiar, actually. I've heard that on my travels, um, this monastery is actually dedicated to the four elements. And if my information is correct, behind closed doors should be untold treasures and knowledge and then I'll end that <laughs> hmm. well, apparently they... two monks oh. yes from what you heard from the transmission and mind you uh, you guys know that um, yeah there, there are monks inside of the vaults that have uh Lock themselves in. Supposedly, monks inside Supposedly. of the vault. Supposedly. Supposedly. Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. So, so these monk-like voices claim. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. As I said, the voice came from one of the display rooms around by uh, where all the armors are. Uh, it is clear that it is uh, magical in nature. The voice, that is. Magic. Magic. So, what do you guys want to do? Do you want to open the door or uh, ask I would, some questions? <laughs> I would like to. I would like to get off the door. <laughs> okay. Sitting on one of the hutches, <laughs> the locks. <laughs> I would like to first be straight. There we go, and then leave. Yeah, I mean so the, the door. Does nothing. The only thing that happened when you moved close to it was that the message it happened. It whispered. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was so afraid that it was just like, well, you activated the boss fight and you're going to die now. Ooh, wouldn't that be a fun thing? Yeah. Ooh. I know a boss fight's going to happen. Thought bubble. <laughs> Do you guys tell, want tell. me to cast something? That can help us? Of course. That'd be nice. Pass without a trace. Ooh. That way, it lasts for an hour, and you can snoop around without activating anything. <laughs> That's how I understand it, anyway. Uh, well, like that. That. Will that apply to all of us? Yes. Yeah, pass without a trace so. is a range of 30 feet from the cast at 20 or 30. I don't remember if it was 20 or 30. Mm. Uh, but whoever is in that range, which I will put an aura on you if you decide to cast it, uh, will gain a very substantial bonus to stealth checks. Oh, okay. So we have to be near Torin. Exactly. Yeah, we have to. We have to constantly be near her because it's an aura. Mm -hmm. All right. This would be a lot easier if you still fit inside my pocket. <laughs> they know, right? <laughs> I mean, I will probably be fine. I mean, I'm from pretty dexterous. You but are. It has more dexterity. Yeah, I mean, plus more health. more health health doesn't hurt. Mm hmm. It is vastly beneficial to uh, me and Kipper because we have heavy armor, so we have disadvantage on stealth checks. Exactly. Yeah. So I'm not sure if I added it to the new sheet properly because I, I put it as an effect. Okay. Would If I just turn the little thingy yeah, on. It should like, add your modifier immediately. You would see should, like oh. on the, your stealth skill, a little like triangle, like red, a green triangle. If it is there, then... That means it's a pipe. Okay. If I if I did it right anyway. <laughs> yeah. So are you gonna cast um, it then? Yes, I would like to cast All it. Alright, so don't know. remember to tick down the two points of mana, because it is a level two spell. Right. Okay. I will add your aura right now. It is thirty feet if I'm correct. Thirty feet. Sounds about right. Sir. Yep, 30 feet, 30 feet of you, including you, has yeah, I mean, plus 10 bonus to dexterity stealth. Oh my goodness, that is a large so, area. You're free to roam. 
you guys can see the aura, right? I, I hope so, at least. Uh, no. I can, I can see it on stream, but... <laughs> oh, okay. Well, it's a very large area. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I can go all the way over here and still be in the aura. Correct. <laughs> Wait, is it 30 radius? So, or is radius. it 30... Radio, okay, yeah, so that's like 60 diameter. Wow! Yeah, so it, yeah, it's 30 feet in all directions from her, so... Uh -huh. so okay, well, so I am no one. longer worried. Let's just go start, you know, walking into murky water. So, as you guys, uh, well, as Torin casts the spell, you can see around her, uh, everybody around her is almost blurred. Uh, feel there is this sort of aura that is making you guys uh, harder to be perceived. Make it count. And you are now concentrating on a spell. I'm gonna put a little dot on. Yep. No, no, nothing hits me. We're good. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Something's gonna hit us, oh, no. and we are going to be in danger. Suddenly, fireball. Suddenly, fireball. No! <laughs> fireball. I don't care how big your room is. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> so. Pitbull. What are you guys doing? Now that you have a lovely aura of stealth around you. Uh, well, may as well take advantage of it, right? How long does it last? Do we realistically have to worry about it running out? An hour? So realistically, I don't think you hour. have to worry about it. Unless okay. we like rested or something, uh -huh. but Unless we just rest rested, around, so we are fine. Now. All right, my my sense as a person with eyes. All right, Kipper. That, like the, the the right does. I sat on this looks, chair. Uh, uh -oh. Kipper, now that you moved up there, uh, uh -huh. you would be able to see um what looks to be more of like a podium. It's not specifically a desk. It's more of like a podium. Uh, you can understand this is probably where the headmaster of the uh, the monastery would sit, uh, maybe perhaps to like give lectures or whatever. You can see this is obviously a large, uh, common room. In the, and there is a stairway that leads to two sides. There is uh, obviously the side where you came from, and the other side which leads to another sort of uh, alleyways. Once you reach that spot, however. You explode. would find <laughs> you would find a few uh, documents on this podium. Um, specifically, you would be able to see a a book that is open on a random page, and writings are you know there. It's there's writing on it, but it's being hastily written. Would you like to oh, okay. read this book? I would love to. Do I have to roll to read? You do not have to roll to read. I can tell you exactly what the book says. Um, okay. All right. So in the book, you start looking around from like previous pages to see if there is more information that you may have missed. And you can see that this is kind of like a like a logbook kind of deal. You can see at, at the start, there's all normal like you know kind of checklist of the people that are around like you know whoever went out to get supplies or you know whoever had to had to come in for whatever reason um you can uh start noticing however that there is a name that starts repeating itself uh unfortunately and not see what the name is. The name has been scratched entirely with ink. But you can see it repeats itself, starts repeating itself quite a few in the first few pages. Uh, and all of them, uh, in all the text next to it says, uh, basically like, oh, came in in search of something, denied. You can see it repeats itself. Uh, as it goes on, it repeats itself more and more and more until it suddenly stops in this log. And you flip some more pages and you reach the part where you know it was uh, written with haste. You flipping through the pages and reading the text can uh, say, can see that 
this person, which his name is still uh, covered in ink and in the writings, you can see that it talks about this person, a very curious uh, wizard that wanted knowledge from the vaults of the monastery. Of course, the monks in the monastery were at first kind of eh, because people come from for knowledge, whoever knows about this place. So it is not uncommon. But the type of knowledge he was uh, searching for went a little bit beyond what monastery was comfortable teaching. As to what knowledge that is, it is not entirely disclosed. It does, however, mention something about power. And you can see that uh, the book mentions that no matter how many times he gets rejected, continues showing up, trying to get in. Then, as this quote unquote uh, diary goes on, uh, you start reading that at some point this man uh, stopped coming in. What? The monks were starting to act strange. Everything was not as usual. And, you know, the headmaster was starting to be a little concerned about this. You know, flipping to the pages of mundane activities and the odd incident here and there, you managed to get to the final few pages where the writing becomes barely legible. It is, it was written with haste. It just says they are inside. Please help. And that's where the book fit. And we assume that I read this out loud. If you want to relay the information, you can totally do that. Oh, uh, do I have to, like, say it? No, no, you Kipper? can just, you can just, just mention that, you know, you want to relay the information to the party. You don't have to, like, specifically mention oh, okay. all I of this. I would like to r relay the information to the party. Perfect. I would like to repeat every single one. <laughs> <laughs> I would not be able to. It would be a really bad summary. You're like, yeah? <laughs> like, okay, guys, I just read this book. It says that, uh, book. the monks were being, uh, monk like, and then, uh, and then a wizard came, and then they went that shit crazy. That's not good. No, <laughs> not good at all. <laughs> That's pretty much. Well, if you want to relate the information to the party, or well, you would, you guys also in character would be able to know about the story that I am mentioning. Um, and yeah, I mean that is what you find up there. You can see, of course, uh, uh, pens thrown about, ink wells dried up into the stone. And some damage to the book as well. You just have Kipper's voice echo down to us. Guys! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how I envisioned it anyways. <laughs> Look what I found! <laughs> it's a book! It's, it's a, a book. book! I've heard Which about logs? these. These are amazing. Very knowledgeable. <laughs> I love these. <laughs> Sometimes they smell weird. These before. They smell good. What are you talking about? <laughs> Oh, with All the right, so with the humidity, I don't know about that one. But mm. um, <laughs> yeah. So, what are you guys doing, Kipper? Are you moving? Are you doing anything? I can In see. Ink Wellington. Ah! Oh, oh. Go that way. Uh, well, I relayed the information. Uh, I'm gonna investigate the podium up here just to see if there's anything else to see. Uh, give me an investigation check. Oh, okay. Investigation. 
There's nothing over here to worry about. It's been completely safe. Uh, hold on. I have to find it. I have to use my brain. <laughs> As for my... what you may be able to see and why you may have screamed, uh, Torin, they are all, as I mentioned before, the same kind of uh, decorative armors. They're all in a stand, and it has many, many rooms. Oh, okay. That's what alerted me. Sorry, I didn't mean to scream like that, but yeah, that, oh, that was not... Are, that are these doors, day. like, actually here? No, no, those are just, like, little, little, like... Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Did it, uh... Yeah, it, okay. they go through. Uh, Keeper, with your investigation check, besides the books and uh, some, you know, random papers and stuff, you managed to find, uh, in a small, like, compartment below this podium, a... Let's see. Can I give you... I don't have any cool... Is that thing? Oh, who's that? Oh, it's broke. That's funny. <laughs> Your icon. I was like, who is that? <laughs> it's you. Hello. Oh. Took me off for a second. Okay, that's why we came okay. in. Okay. So, uh, Kipper, you managed to find below in a little compartment underneath the podium, you managed to find a scroll. Uh, unfortunately for you, you can see that some of the ink of the must have, uh, you know, gotten to the scroll and it's a little bit uh, of parts of it are you know inked covered screen go where's this go oh what yeah hold on button? hold on guys hold on what's this what's this did my buddy kipper suddenly from me that's Shining fine what's we this? will um thank you for picking up on that oh <laughs> Okay, but Kipper, this is what you will find. Damn oh. scroll. If you guys would like, if somebody would like to read it for the chat. I would like chat. to read it. I'm already doing it. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. In the beginning, Crenia's heart was whole and flawless. Perfect. Then in all its wisdom, Crenia broke it apart into four separate yet equal fragments. In the possession of Aros is the air shard, glowing and shimmering, carrying the ever-changing skies. The one to hold this shard would control the wind itself. The keeper of the earth shard is Vithius, holding the lush, verdant shard close to her bosom. To hold this shard would grant the possessor the strength of the earth. Safeguarded by Ixus is the water shard, blue waters shining and bubbles trapped inside with this shard. One could hold the power to heal and rejuvenate. With Cadzius lies the fire shard, a burning ember ever flickering and dancing within. The one to wield this shard will have fire and chaos at their command, just as the hole had been broken. One day, it shall be reunited. Four shall become one. Four shall... Eh. The world shall know it's... Eh. Be... It... Eh. Yeah. Eh. That's the sound it makes. I will say, that's kind of eh. weird. I actually, you know, check the <laughs> spelling of everything, and uh, when I transferred the thing, I don't know why, but it transferred the old version where it had no... <laughs> And punctuation and shit because I'm looking at the new one like the old one before transfer and it's it's very well spelled I don't know what happened here <laughs> whatever but yes um this, I assure you it was immaculate it, it was it was it was good it was it's so funny to me but okay yes uh Kipper this is a scroll that you managed to find of course you managed to you you can tell that the last few words uh, are illegible because ink has dried onto the scroll and has damaged the last few words. Mm. Okay, so the last few words... Uh... Wait, but it has a certain level of, like, letters, so I could... Uh... Can we do, like, some, uh... 
how, how you say some forensic uh, investigation <laughs> yeah uh let's see one two pour, pour a lemon on it <laughs> um i will wow. say this the Bestie number now. the number of uh characters does not match the number of letters originally planned. <laughs> don't worry it's i was inaccurate. not gonna give you that i was not gonna give you that information <laughs> yeah because then it would have been three letters just three letters because i know it's the world shall know its end or maybe demise if you're feeling fancy that's just my that's just my uh opinion that could be anything your honor or shall rule it could be anything <laughs> them all. as far as you know uh the ink has dried and uh that those parts are just you cannot find them um whose line is it anyway or what is that show <laughs> it, whose line, line is it anyway <laughs> where yeah. the points don't matter yeah. so think, yeah what are you guys uh doing <laughs> mm. i think where me and Ambrose are probably leads down to that, to the dormitory, because it kind of lines up. Probably. Yeah, yes. I'm pretty uh, sure, but there is also a pathway upward. Hmm. I was doing zoomies like uh, a cat. All right. In circles. Uh, Torin, would you mind staying within a uh, thirty foot yeah. radius of us? <laughs> I shall. If it's if it's not too much to ask, of course. <laughs> Wait. Uh, where oh. is the, uh, mute Yori, fellow Yori. kind of, Yori. yeah. Yori. 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 Is it Yori or? Yori. Uh, Yori. 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 Okay. Oh, yeah. like genre. Sure. Like yeah. genre. Yeah, okay. yeah good. Uh, what is Yori doing? Like Jock. Uh, yeah. What's the dog doing? <laughs> With the pepper. Um, he... He was just kind of like admiring the um, the like, uh, giant doors for a while, just kind of staring at them. Uh, <laughs> of course, not really saying anything like usual, but now he's just back together with the gang, I guess. Okay. So then I guess we're gonna just go down this path and see where it takes us. Uh, well, down this path, you guys would know that uh, there is uh, the dormitories, uh, as uh, Rex Moa mentioned. Mm -hmm. We going down or up? Uh, I say we go up. Yeah, I'm pretty we sure traveled. we have already been down before. We yeah. just like didn't actually go all the way up because it started getting flooded. Oh, whoopsie! Dweller down to go down. <laughs> 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 As you guys start So while while we're walking past these suits of armor mm -hmm. like can I can I can I notice anything? Why don't you give me a perception em? check? Sure can. Do it. Poke it. So is my <laughs> character yes, sheet loads. What do my my lizard eyes I see. What do your lizard eyes um, <laughs> Your dark vision is not working. Check. Do you have dark they vision? They can't have my brand. Yes, I, I do. I have some uh, lizard eyes. My sheet is not loading. I can't move. Look, Look with your it's, lizard it's eyes. It's not a like huge deal or anything, but uh, it, it's kind of hard for me to like see. I think it was just my internet acting. You should be able to. I already. I'm gonna have... re refresh real quick. The yeah, roll twenty. You have yourself. You have a uh, sixty feet of dark vision. Maybe, maybe I just need to like re put my thing back in. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Re reset your okay. token. There you go. Not better. Should we? Can anyone? Can, can everyone see in the oh. dark or just? I think it's only oh, I you cannot. and uh, oh, okay, yeah, it's because the token of your new sheet is not. Done. Yeah, ah, that's why. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do that next time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Next time, oh. remind me to set the new tokens. Ah, because you had the old Yeesh. sheet. That's why. That's no why. problem. No problem. There you Roll go. Papa. Who, who's blind in the dark? Yeah. I'll there just you go. There you go. Using the old sheet token. Right, well, there you go. Come on, load the sheet, please, please. Got it, you got it. Okay, so next time I am going to 
oh. have uh, your stuff uh, set. I rem I forgot, but obviously, since we uh, upgraded, we your sheets may not be, uh, your tokens may not be uh, properly set. So, gotta do that next time, but that's okay. So, uh, Rex Moa, let me... Perception. Okay, doing it. Perception, go! With that perception Completely check, average. I that's can like tell you. That's like people eyes. Yeah. My cataracts are acting up. <laughs> no. With that perception, I can tell you that, um... Okay, yeah, with that perception, I can tell you that inside one of the room, these little <laughs> armors, you can see, uh, besides, obviously, the, the, the armor, you can see something small sticking out from, uh, like, behind the chest plate piece. Hmm. Can I... From behind, the, as in, like, inside yeah, the chest plate? inside, but, like, behind the, the chest piece, but, like, inside of it. Okay, uh, okay. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do the thing that I can do. As, uh -huh. a, as a monk of the four elements, this is gonna be my first time trying to do it. All right, so here, so I can reshape water hey. in a one foot cube into uh, into crude forms. So, hmm, <laughs> yeah, I guess the this one right here, I'm gonna try to like like force water into the chest plate and just like have it like come out the the neck the helmet and see if it like pushes anything out okay yep easy enough ah. you are able to you know you start how does this look like actually how how, how would your character like cast this uh well as someone who grew up in the 2000s i imagine it like a water bending mm -hmm. so <laughs> yeah uh. So yeah, Rex Rex Moa does like a he he takes like a almost like a martial arts stance and he holds his two arms in front of him and using a very fluid movements, he moves both of his arms and manipulates the water up from the ground and into the like chest plate area, probably like going through where like the waist would be in this armor. And he he stores as much water inside the chest plate as he can, and then he creates like a spout, like out of the neck. Like I don't know if it would knock the helmet off, but he basically like tries to force whatever he saw in this okay. chest plate out of there. Yeah, easy enough. You you see the tendril of water starts filling up inside of the chest piece of this armor, uh, and up comes a small um, purse that just kind of mm. drops into the water in front of it. A coin hmm. purse? Yeah. yeah, it's a coin purse. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay. Funny. Mm. All right. <laughs> yeah. Can you well, tell which like... of us are the greedy people in the group? <laughs> uh, well, I, I feel like I, as Rex Mello, wouldn't know that information, so I'll I'll continue to use my elemental attunement and like bring the coin purse back to me, and then I'll I'll just open it up. Perfect. You see what's you, inside? You bring it in there, and what you get is blinding dust to the face. <laughs> Human <laughs> eyes. <laughs> A rusted ring. A <laughs> pocket sand. <laughs> um, <laughs> you just get a coin purse with tiny, but... 15 silver pieces. Hey. hey. Okay. That's pretty good. Hmm. All right. Well, I hold it in my hands and we can continue forward. There you go. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess we're oh, just like wow. back over here. In. Why'd you do oh, that? Right. Oh. All right. Uh -oh. to... Rex <laughs> now that you have gotten a little bit close, you notice that um, there is a door, like, right in front of you, pretty much. And mm -hmm. staying quiet, you can hear mumbling coming from the other <laughs> side of the door. 
I'm sorry, I'm like... That one day right. is going to uh, take you a bad I, time. And I, as a player, I see that this door is locked. Yes, uh, because, so I mean, you I mean, just kind of mm. try and open it. It doesn't budge. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Why isn't it working? I'm trying well, to click I'll... the door. Rex Moa will do the reasonable thing, and he will knock on the door and say, Hello? Water's <laughs> blessings. You continue hearing uh, this mumbling. Like, there's a... You can hear human voices inside. Two of them, to be specific. Uh, and once you knock on the door, they go quiet for a second. And then they resume the mumbling. Hmm. They are not well. I don't think they really care. Uh, I relay this information to everyone else in the party. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, don't a couple of you, uh, you, you were trained in locksmithing, I believe. Ooh. Torn kind of throws up her sleeves like, yeah, sure, I can give it a go. The Kipper <laughs> pulls out his lock picking bag. <laughs> <laughs> you go first. Oh. I believe Ambrose also has some sort of, like, uh, stuff oh from Lord. being an urchin. <laughs> I like to I am also <laughs> experienced. It, it's like the when you ask, wild. like, oh, does anyone have a knife or a bottle opener? And everyone's like, me, me. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> All right. I am also uh, experienced, so it's not okay. the greatest at it. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to roll a uh, die. Could I try brute forcing it? You can, but I mean, decide which one wants to try and open the door first. All right. Also, what well, what is this thing right here? Oh, that's like just right that's just like a decoration. Oh, no. Okay, I was like, is this a blood fountain? Oh, <laughs> oh gosh, <laughs> vampires! <laughs> I don't like blood fountain. It's all about um, the finesse. It's all in the flick oh, of the wrist, Kipper. I'll see how you guys do. Uh, oh, uh, it's Skipper trying lock to lockpick it. Yeah. Oh wait, wait, he's running a D three. What is what is that? What is that? I rolled the D three, but Are I forgot to, to figure out. Yeah, which one of us? <laughs> which who's who? Oh my oh, goodness! Yeah. I said you first. I mean, why don't you all just like talk it all out in in character, uh -huh, or like uh -huh. if you want? Yeah, you all can just like roll dice and see who oh. gets the highest if you want to set oh, it that way. Uh, go ahead, you can go. Okay, uh, well, I guess, uh, because Tarn is so polite, I will, I will lockpick. Okay. Uh, roll me a roll? sleight of hand check, pretty much. Okay. As my hands are so slight and so small, uh, Oops. oh, dang, nabbit, it's not letting me scroll down on the page. Hold on, let me, uh, reopen it. Get to add your item, uh, Rex Moa. Okay. How many coins Maybe was it? Having 15 a silver bit pieces. Of... 15, okay, thank you. I'm having just a tad bit of problems. Uh-oh, what's going on? It is being mean to me. Really? Did it not let you roll, or what's going uh, on? It's just the page is being weird. Uh, you might have to refresh. I've misplaced some of my tools. Uh, Torin, would you want to do it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, she kind of like does a little flick, you know, around her, around her, <laughs> her like, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Kipper is always unorganized. Okay, I think I might be just as unorganized. We're gonna find out here real quick. <laughs> we are about to find out. So I see it in my tools kit. I got my herbal disguise and thieves tools. Like, how do I access that on this? Uh, page? well, just roll me a sleight of hand check, and uh, oh. well, the thieves tools just comes with a few uh, like lockpicks and stuff. So oh, just roll me a sleight of hand check. Okay, one clicky. Nah, 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 nah. What do you mean? <laughs> None for you. <laughs> Why does it give you nothing? <laughs> what? I don't know. Nah. 
What I like that kind of bread. That is, that is kind I of weird. It. Non-bread. Yeah, when you microwave it, it actually, yeah. like, it actually microwaves well compared to other breads. That's weird. That is yeah. odd. Non, you just can't yeah. do non I had, like, a, a Costco tikka masala with non-bread. It was delicious. Want me to yeah. open my old page and I can just click it on there? No, 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 no. I want to check out what. Well, if you want to, if you want to do your old page and click it there, that's fine. Uh, but it should be okay. So it should be a D twenty plus four for you. Okay. So if you can roll D20. that, that'd be that'd be cool. Normal D twenty, and we'll add D20. a plus four. Just one roll. Yep. Yeah. And a plus four that will be a thirteen. Well. Um. Yeah. I would say, you pull out your lock picks and start, you know, fiddling about with the lock, until you know. Finally, you right see five. that, uh, yeah, you hear the click of the lock, and it's open. The torn kind of like her little whiskers kind of go a little up with excitement, oh. and kind of ears kind of like twitch, like, ooh, it's open. <laughs> oh, I want it to burst through. Next one. <laughs> it's open. Uh, well, I, I suppose like I, I started this, so I may as well. Oh, hello. So, <laughs> greetings. As you open the door, you see this little fella right here. I think it. Up. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! Did it look like that? It does look like that. As a matter of fact, ah! this is ah! where. All right, close. I close the door. <laughs> this is where the <laughs> going for. He ran it immediately close the yes. door. Yes. Oh, yes. All right. No, uh, no, no, well, no, you no, know what? I, uh, I, I Rex Mo is a person of understanding, so I will try to speak to it. Say, okay. Oh, uh, what? Water's greetings. Uh, are you in need of any help, my friend? Uh, let me check what this guy. Would I, do. I say from this side of the door. <laughs> or just kind of looks at you like. Are you crazy? <laughs> You're asking me questions? <laughs> Let me say what this guy would do. <laughs> well, I don't really do a lot. <laughs> but, okay, that's funny. You can see how this creature right here just kind of stops mumbling and, like, pulls itself back a little and it spits at this specific spot and Lovely. <laughs> everybody who is around the door please give me a dexterity saving throw please as you see this odd like almost glowing bit and as it crashes onto the the frame of the door a burst of light emits from this odd uh, fluid. So okay. Torin, uh, Rex Moa, and Kipper. Uh, uh, I don't suppose that counts as a missile, does it? <laughs> it is not a missile. Okay. A dex save. Freaking dex save. Yes, you are good. You are good. Okay. So or it don't touch me, baby. <laughs> it don't touch you. Wait, is your aura thing specifically turn. for traps? It's uh, or? it's stealth. Oh, it's stealth. Okay. <laughs> like I just hocked a loogie at his Pretty much Get out of here <laughs> it Oh, it's actually It's actually, did. It's actually I it's, thing. I'm afraid to click it more Because I don't want to like Queue up a, a deck saving through like five times It's actually 15 feet So uh, it would be Jory and Ambrose as well Dexterity saving throws, please Wait, did you oh, make Mitchell? me sleepy? I'm um, pretty sure the 15 feet Is just how far it can spit uh no. Ah, it explodes. No, you're right. You're you're right. You're right. Okay. So it's only them. So I I literally just used one of these a couple of sessions ago in my yeah, game. Yeah, <laughs> I, know, I know you know about these, these guys. guys. Are fun. I know these, you know these about fun. these guys. <laughs> I I love these guys so much. I have not seen uh, your dexterity. Freaking terrifying. Uh mine's twenty plus five. Oh no, I know terrifying. <laughs> it's roll scary it? to look at. Oh. Yeah, let me just click again. Uh-huh. Alright, that is a pass. Kipper, 
you are staring straight at this vile uh, fluid that has been tossed and uh, the flashing light was so strong uh, that you are now blinded for uh, until you save from it. Uh, that's no good. Everybody else is fine, but what are you guys gonna be doing on the eighth? You don't want to start initiative. Hmm. Uh, do I notice that uh, Kipper has been blinded by this thing? Kipper, do you cry out? Is this, is this uh, a traumatic experience for you? <laughs> uh, no, surprisingly, this isn't traumatic, but I do say bollocks, and then I cover my eyes with my hands. Hmm. I'm just more pissed. <clears throat> uh, well... Hmm. Torn would be pretty terrified at this point. Just, oh god, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We've been suffocated by a few carpets at this point. We're like, I'm... <laughs> what is that? What is this? So what's I'm it gonna sorry, be, guys? It was, what's it, it was gonna the be? Last session. <laughs> Slam that door shut and run for the few. I feel like that'd be the, the funny thing to do. It would be. Would Jesus? Mm. It'd also be the safe thing to do. It would be the safe thing to do. Could we just close and the door suddenly, and run far Rainy enough? is correct. <laughs> oh, they are going to wait forever. Okay, yeah, let's just... Oh, uh, yeah, let's just close the door. And uh, then yeah, close the door and I will, like, uh, hold it closed, I suppose. Like, what kind of door is it? Uh, just like a... It's kind of like metal and wood. Mm. Should I try to lock it again? <laughs> <laughs> hey. I don't know if that's, like, the best idea. You can tell me what you want to do, but I'm I'm counting your seconds. I, I'd, right, like, to, I'd like to lock it. I'm going to lock okay, it. Okay, okay. Roll me a sleight of hand check to see if you can lock it again. It's another D... Uh, D20 plus four for you. D20 plus four, okay. D20 plus four? Yeah. It's a 10. You are okay. able to... You quickly just shuffle through your lockpicks, just go in and start trying to jam everything in. Um, and yeah, you managed to lock the door. Let's get the hell out of here, Torn would say. <laughs> uh, I turn to Ambrose in Yori, and I say, uh, I don't know if you saw, but there was something quite terrifying in there, and I do not think it had the best intentions for us. It had a lot of teeth. Torn will kind of blurt out. <laughs> you suddenly hear a banging on the door. <laughs> I didn't see what it was, but I saw what All right, I guess uh, is it. So, uh, Kipper's blinded, right? Uh, I would say uh, slowly your eyes would oh. go back to normal. Kipper, it okay. was a momentarily yeah. thing. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I wanted to. I, I was gonna lead Kipper away from the door. I was oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna. I was hoping that we were all gonna forget, so I, I could just walk into a wall and remind I... you guys. <laughs> no worries. I would have had you either way because I got less to restoration. You'd be seen. Oh, I see. First thing I see is old lizard man. <laughs> So with that door closed in uh, the creature banging against it, where are you guys headed? Oh. Uh, out of curiosity, which direction does this door open? Um, I would say it opens to the inside of the room. Okay, that makes it better for us. Exactly. Okay. I don't necessarily want to stay in this area, so maybe we could just... Uh, should we go back to the other creepy, whispery door? Or... Hmm. Uh, I think we should probably get out of the water and perhaps towards, uh... Yeah. Perhaps up, up these stairs. The uh, I think... Hmm. Alright. Uh, so what? what is this right here? 
Oh, then I guess it, then my, those are pillars, probably. It's, it's just okay. like map decoration. Uh, ooh, okay, so... I'll... Yeah, so Rex Moa says, uh, hmm, I don't think that door is going to hold forever, so I think I'm going to try to uh, hide until they break through, and then maybe perhaps we'll have the advantage out in the open. Ooh. Sneaky attack. Okay. Interesting, interesting. So how are you guys going? I right, uh, remember that you have... The pathway leading down to one side, and uh, the stairs mm -hmm. leading up to this podium area on the other. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Part of me feels like a boss fight's gonna happen, though, and I'm a little afraid with me not uh, having uh, uh, well, mana. So I just don't want you guys to lose health on this thing. Mm hmm. Don't worry, we'll play it smart. Oh, mm. okay. Mama by her. I got this. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm all I'm down for whatever you guys want to do. Fair um, kills. Plan. So we got the, huh. the uh Ambrose, Yori, I don't think we have too much in the way of time. Oh I think going in thinking is better than going in blind. And keep hearing the bang on the I would agree. What we can do in the meantime is move something in front of the door to at least prolong the amount of time we have. Mm hmm. You kind of look around. Yes. See if yeah, can perhaps. Do that. Uh, let's split up. I'll I'll hide behind this column, and you all and you both can hide. Well, where we returned, and hopefully we can pinch these creatures in a terrible trap. Hmm. Oh, okay, so then, like, what tour? Uh, you said like here. You and your okay. You and Jory go there. He's behind. Uh, the and then you Kipper. I'm under Kipper a chair. Any means. <laughs> you might not want to, Kipper. You might not want to hide <laughs> right, right there. Uh, right up here sight. by the desk. <laughs> hmm. Like right up here. I'm, yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. I'm next to this sword. Okay. Uh, you, you know what? I will try something tricky, and now that I've use my like little uh elemental attunement spell i'll i'll make something vaguely shaped like kipper right there <laughs> oh with your <laughs> under spell? The chair. okay what how yeah, what are I, you using I, i'm not sure how elemental attunement works it says it's an action uh, really control elemental forces within 30 feet of you well the whole thing about being an action is an probably because right? like uh, you can do. Let me see if I can find it. Specific. You can interact with the with the world with it. Like for example, even in mm -hmm. combat, like I don't know, there's a big fire going on. I'm gonna use my elemental fucking thing to move the water and just drop it on top of the fire and you know stuff like that. That is why mm -hmm. it counts as an action. Uh, -huh. uh, if we are like outside of combat, it's fine to do actions oh. and stuff like that. As long as it doesn't have like a time to cast, which in this case the time is an action, so. It's all good. Okay. Berries. I got <laughs> ten berries. I like berries. Should I get? Might, does anybody low on HP that I can kind of like share them? <laughs> uh, I think we should all be good. I'm fine, but thank you. Fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Sure. Okay. Anybody want a potion of giant strength just in case? Should I think we should save that for later. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll save it. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's Give it to me, and I can be normal size. <laughs> well, it just increases your strength. Uh, I can yeah. be the strength of a normal person. Uh, so you I can forget. see the. Do, oh yeah, go ahead. Do barbarians use strength or another stat? You are you primarily strength. strength. Yes. Oh, okay. Strength. I am also to using you. strength. We could probably get that later. So then Torn would get, you know, crouched down and just go into hide, I guess. Okay. I'm not sure what I need to click on to do that, but. <laughs> uh, no, where are you going to hide? I'm going to hide behind this cage thingy if it's a. Yeah. If it's, if it's a if sure. It's, <laughs> and, it's a um, cage. 
And Rex, while you are it. trying to do a an image of Kipper, what element are you yeah, using? Yeah, or like, or like a vague form. I don't think these things will be too uh, perceptive. Okay. Perhaps. Uh, what yeah. element are you because using? Because it's it has crude form, so uh, I was gonna do the water that we're sitting okay. in. Awesome, awesome. So you managed to make a, a crude form of well, think something to make them. Um, mm. Are you hiding somewhere, uh, Rexmola? Yeah, I'm hiding. I'm hiding behind this column. I'm putting the column between me okay. and the door, essentially, and then I'll, I'm making my little distraction right there. Because on the chair. as soon as you start casting, you hear boom. The door opens. <laughs> this mumbling creature comes out. You can see it is very slow. It's move very, mm. very slow. Not as slow as me. And um, first of all, Rexmo and um, Corin uh -oh. give me a stealth check. And I will don't roll don't. intelligence on these guys. Well, first of all, perception to see if they spot you or not. <laughs> Okie dokie, we got this, we got this. I don't think I've ever had to make a stealth I did check. It again. Man. I did it again? I don't know. Well, you have a plus four? Do you have a plus 14? So just roll me a d20 and we'll add 14 to because That's of yeah, plus right, 14 to stealth, my god. Well, it's because hey, pass without hey. trace gives you a plus 10. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Rex Moy, your stealth check, please. Thank you. I'm about to grab my old dice. <laughs> it works for you yeah i'm trying all right character sheet please work with me i don't know why it's being i know you're nervous today. i'm yeah. weird it hasn't been maybe everyone just plays DD &D on wednesdays maybe <laughs> i'm gonna be right back i need a blank you know, my dexterity modifier is plus five okay so, so roll a d20 should I just like yeah roll a d20 yeah. and would you get plus five and plus ten Easy enough. All right. What's so up? these creatures come out and you hear them still mumbling about. Just kind of look around and let me do an intelligence check to see if they fall for your little Ooh. elemental trick. Oh, yeah. You guys are dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you can see them kind of spot this crude form moving around. And they immediately just kind of move towards it, just like I, I try to bite it. Mm -hmm. And they are, in fact, distracted now. Uh, all right, so I suppose uh, I'll make the first move. I'll I'll go for this one. All right, what are you going to do to that one? I'm going to do like a two handed quarter staff, like overhead. Slam. All right, and roll with advantage because it is a sneak attack. Let me add this to the initiative because we are to start the initiative. Ah, there you go. Oh, should I roll for initiative as well? Not yet. You guys get a surprise round first. That means uh, you get to a do an action before the enemies. I'm going to roll their initiatives already, but you guys will get an action. All of you guys will get an action before the enemy. Nice. Hopefully we can make this nice and swift and no one gets hurt, right? Sir. Character sheet. Please, please roll 20. Are you having issues with lo with the thing loading? Yeah, like it'll pull up the sheet and then it just gets stuck on the, the loading part. That's odd. I'll try refreshing again. I thought that was just me. It might be a oh, roll twenty cool thing, honestly. Yeah. Too many people are on. Yeah, <laughs> people get out. We are playing right now. 
Pikachu. <risos> Game. Speed run to my character sheet. Speed run. We can do it. We can do it. To attacking with advantage. Yes, sir. Attacking with advantage. Hello. Get him. We can go in the dust. Uh, from my character sheet, how do I do it with advantage? Because normally oh, I just click you can on the... on the top. You would see on the all the way to the top of your sheet. You would see um, the name advantage, disadvantage, automatic, and query. I would say set it to either query, so it asks you if you want to do advantage every time. Hmm. On the top of query. it, by your query. yeah, yeah. All right. And then gotcha. you select your, and then you select That's what your I thing. use. Exactly. Advantage. Thank you. And there you go. That a hundred percent hit. Roll for your damage. Oh yeah. All right, easy enough. Uh, you still have uh, the rest of your turn because you are a you have a surprise round against the enemies, as I mentioned. Hmm. All right, and then I'm going to follow up with my unarmed strike as uh -huh. per usual. So that will just be annoying. Will this be a, an advantage as well? It is or... an advantage because you are uh, surprising the enemy. Punch them right that in the, their many livers. Hits. Both for damage. Oh, just Boom. their livers. Break their teeth. Yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Their many teeth. My Is that fist it sinks into turn? their flesh. Uh, yes, that will be it. For awesome, 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 awesome. Touch their flesh. So, um, yeah, this is, it's probably not very good for me since. Let's go from people from closer they got to furthest. a lot furthest. of mouths. Uh, Torin, we'll go from you. Like I said, everybody will get the turn it from surprise rounds, and then we'll roll your initiatives. Okay, so basically just say what I'm going to do for the sneak attack. Yeah, what do you want to do to attack them? Well, I want to use my little shirt bow, and I'd like to attack. Okay, that is, uh, well, have you said. Uh, hopefully it doesn't give you an error again. I'm going to check your sheet once more. Uh, yeah. Once we're done here, so we can have your stuff set. I had to reopen it, too. I just refreshed it just in case. So. Awesome, awesome. Hopefully that's what it was. I'm sorry, what would you say I had to do, or...? Uh, just roll for your short bow with advantage. The short bow with advantage... Oh. Um... Do I just hit the, um... Plus one attack with it? Uh, yes! Attack. Alright, roll it again, because you have to do advantage. On the top of your sheet, you should see advantage, disadvantage, or query. I suggest putting it on query, so uh, it always asks you if you want to do advantage, disadvantage, or normal. But for now, just roll it again. Okay. I'll look for it. All right, you do hit. Roll the damage with the bow. You can see it in chat right there. You can just click the damage thing, and it for you. It's grayed out. Wait out? I don't have it. I'm gonna roll it for you. No, it won't let me click on it. Oh! That's hot. Your sheet is a little bit broken. Uh, let's see. Short bow, it's 1d6. So it would be a 1d6 plus 1 for you because your dexterity is 1. So 1d6. Okay. Just roll a 1d6. Gotcha. Alright. That is two <laughs> points of damage. To which one? To the one that Rex Maul is attacking or the other one? Yeah, just to help. Okay. That one, but he's attacking right there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We'll go to Kipper now. Well, actually, is that it for your turn? Yeah, for now. Okay. That's it. Kipper, you are up. I'm going to have to do a melee thing. Uh huh. Because, uh, which also, I just noticed. I remember not. I remember having like maybe one mana left. Uh, uh huh. But I check my thingy and now it says I have. Full mana, so I'm gonna. I think it's because you click the rest and you your mana's not supposed to be there. Uh, so you yeah, don't that's have what one. I was yeah. figuring. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna use my hammer. Can you reach this spot? I think. Oh, yeah, I you have can. You can tell it. Bunny legs. Yeah, that's fine. Go ahead and roll for your uh, hammer with advantage. Oh, 
Okay, let's see. Change it to advantage. Did it go? Damn, okay. Critical Thank hit. Nice. Let's go. Roll for your damage. Remember that our crit rule means that one of your dice is gonna be full damage. Oh, okay. So just roll I for your damage. What... Okay, I clicking the same thing it seems like it is not doing so uh what do i roll uh for a warhammer two-handed i'm pretty sure it's a 1d8 oh there you go wait no oh, that okay. is your uh that is yeah 1d10 that would be 10 but whoa okay okay i that's I'm fine sorry, that's fine i it's probably all clicked it we're gonna take the, fir the first result exploding. It's all good. Don't you worry. Oh, damn. Okay. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> okay. You just keep swinging in circles. That is all good. We're going to take the first I'm damage. Spinning. So it will be 17 points of damage. That is a lot of fuck. In the, my hometown, they call me the Beyblade. <laughs> you can see this guy is looking a little rough now. Is that it for your turn, Kipper? Uh, I shake my butt. Okay. I clap my hands. Perfect. That's it. <laughs> All right, Ambrose, you're up. Get your surprise round. Alrighty. Uh, we were generally focusing this one, correct? Yep. Okay. Do the I just good old to make game. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I can get there just fine. I will put myself right here, which is probably not a good idea, but I'm doing it anyway. Okay. Uh, with great sword out, I will take a swing, which I have advantage on. Yes, sir. And I don't know if this is going to affect them, but I will go ahead and make it a menacing strike. Menacing strike meaning? So if I hit, I deal my security damage and dice, and they also have to make a wisdom save, assuming they can be frightened. I don't know if these things can be frightened. Okay. Um... If they can be frightened, they have to make a wisdom save against my superiority DC. Okay. And or be frightened. Okay. Of me for until the end of my next turn, I think it is. All right, roll I'll, for your attack. The oh, thing. there it is. Yes, you do hit. Roll for that damage. Alrighty. I clicked it. Hey, give it a second. Question mark. Give it a nice. second. What is your superiority? Uh, superiority dies DC. I can roll the wisdom check. Let's see, my DC is... Uh, 13. 13, let's see. That is a fail. So this guy is now frightened. I'll put a little, a little purple oh. dot on it. Maybe I will click again, because it doesn't seem like it's going through. Beard. Must be this. Okay, side. I'll just... Uh, I will just roll the dice, since okay. it doesn't want to do anything. Sure. <laughs> uh, that will be 9 plus 3, that'll be 12, plus my superiority dice. So that will be 19. 19, 19 points of damage. You can see this guy is looking quite rough already. Very As I'll rough. just run around noticing that this uh, interesting looking creature that I totally don't know the name of <laughs> is being kind of surrounded so i'll focus that one so i'll bring the sword around having the sword just wave just slightly above the gooey foam the first one before wrapping it and swing it straight downward making sure to avoid rex moa yeah as you can see how this creature that has been surprised it is realizing now that you are fucking it up uh it is taking a lot of damage you can see it's uh looking quite rough already lots of cuts like the, the freaking bends of the warhammer and the the arrow sticking on it and all of that is that it for your turn yes that'll be my turn all right jory i can't even see anything oh okay. shit can you not um 
No, it's because I was in that hallway. Vision was obstructed. Uh, oh, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just run to this guy and do like, I don't know, like a lunging claw attack. All right, roll for your attack with advantage. With advantage, okay. Let's see if my sheet wants to cooperate. I would uh, recommend not closing them if they are not cooperating. It looks like it doesn't. Uh, I'm pretty sure you had a plus six to hit, so roll a d20 plus six. Yes, plus six. Um, do I do it like this? Oh, yes. That definitely nice. hits. I mean, I would tell you to... You know what? Roll it again just in case you get a crit. Sure. Ah. Uh, okay. Alright, you always still hit no matter what. I do not remember what is your damage. Let me check real quick. It's uh 2d4 plus 2. Yeah, there you go. Then roll those. That would be... Wait, hold on. That would be 2d4. That would be 8, 10. Then roll 2d4 plus 2. Because remember our little rule of critical hits. That would be what? I'd roll the 2d4 plus 2. Okay. Okay. Damn. Hey, that's good damage. That is good damage. That's yeah. <laughs> 10 damage. Holy shit. Now that's what I call damage. Damn. Right. Boom. Perfect. Good. And with that, everybody, please yeah, roll your initiative as we're going to start the combat now properly. Initiative. Proper. Very good. Does it say Nan? Oh, I got a five. Perfect. 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 Yeah. 12. Not bad, considering Whoa. I only have a plus 2. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, I don't think mine is going to roll. I'm just going to do it anyway. I'm pretty... What is your dexterity? Oh, yeah, there you go. 7. I don't know why you guys are having issues. It might be a roll 20 thing. I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. We'll believe in a roll 20. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're looking for... Waiting for Rexmo and Kippers. In the yeah, so my... I have a plus five, so I'll just roll around with the d20 plus five. Easy money, 21. <laughs> yeah, well, I, this thing is so I, dead. Very dead. <laughs> All right, the Kipper. I'm, I clicked it. It's. I clicked it twice, maybe. Just twice. Wait for it. Bum, 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 bum. Well, if it's not shown, bum, what is your dexterity modifier? Uh, my dexterity modifier is... Oh, wait, there you go, oh. there you go, there you There's go. One. Uh, I will take the first number because it's not supposed to be an advantage. So it is a seven for Kipper. There you go. Okay. And <laughs> oh, now... I forgot to take the advantage off. Yes. And now, Rex Moa, it is your turn once again. What are you doing? Uh, what does the purple mark mean on, on this, this one? Uh, that it's frightened. Uh, just okay. as a reminder, Frightened means that it has disadvantage uh, on ability checks and attack rolls when the source of the fear is in sight, uh, which Me, it is. I am the And fear. it cannot right. voluntarily move towards the source of its fear. In this Holy case, shit. I don't we're, think we're it We're going to beat the shit out of this thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's do it. Go and ahead. if you if you don't kill it, it's gonna have disadvantage on its attack roll. So. Now it's a normal roll, because uh, you are no longer an advantage. Um, you are no longer surprising it. Alright, I'm good. One D twenty plus seven. So. Pretty much. <laughs> how they did it in the old days it's crazy holy shit uh, <laughs> oh my god hey. uh, <laughs> Not what you want. um let's see what can we do for fun in this one you explode <laughs> yeah, I, I poke it in the wrong place <laughs> and it smiles how are you swinging at it uh rex moa yeah, I'm, I'm swinging my quarter staff. Yes, but in what motion? Uh, I was going to do like another overhand, like a swing to the head or whatever the closest approximation to a head this thing has. Okay. <laughs> so as you go in, 
for the head. <laughs> Your quarter staff. Oh, let's see. You land a hit, but for some reason, your quarterstaff slips off your hand. Now your quarterstaff is... It's just too slippery. Yeah, it's wet, slippery, very nasty. And now your quarterstaff is uh, right here. You have been disarmed. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, you're a bomb, little, right? little do they know. Little do, little they, know. do they know. Just gonna punch the shit out of it. Go ahead. <laughs> Are you gonna dishand me? No. All right, oh. so yeah, that's oh. another. Well, <laughs> be careful. Twenty plus a seven. That does hit. Nice. Uh, your what damage will be one d four plus five. That I'm is being a monk. Boom! Eight Hell points yeah. of damage onto that thing. Ooh, it's 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 on its last legs, guys. It's on its last everyone, legs. Everyone, everyone, punch punch the shit out of this thing with me. It's fun. Oh, Is that yes. it for your turn? Yeah, yeah, I'm having yep, so much uh, fun. Well, uh, hmm. Is there any way I can navigate over to my quarter staff? Uh, Am you... I going to take an uh? What's it called? Attack of opportunity. If you if you leave the five feet range of it, yes, you will. Uh, but I remind you, it has disadvantage. Okay. The frightened condition. Can I like jump over it? I mean, you can probably like skip over it. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you you would have to like move around, but it's the same thing, so it don't matter. Hmm. Yeah, and you will be able to grab your quarterstaff. Let me just uh, delete the little dot. And you're fine. Is that it for your turn, then? Yep, that'll be it for my turn. All right. And this thing, seeing that it's going to die, you can hear it starts mumbling. But the mumbles get louder and louder and louder and louder. Everybody except for Torin, give me a wisdom saving throw, please. Uh, Torrin's just too wise. I love my wisdom. Oh, no, I'm not going to fail. I'm not good. Actually, I'm okay at this. I'm used to sucking at this because my current, my my in real life game character has a plus zero. <laughs> All right. Holy shit, I've never been more wise. Yori, you are safe. Oh, I'm not wise though. I'm bros. <laughs> we will see what happens to you in a second. Why wisdom pill? All right. So my thing is plus two. So. Uh huh. I'm gonna be feeling it. I'm gonna be feeling it. Don't worry. Minus plus five, because I am so Ooh, strong. Oh, okay, easy. And Kipper? You just have such good willpower. It, it's clicked. It's I clicked. clicked. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. More times than I would like to admit. All right, let's see. <laughs> and let's go first with what is going to happen to Ambrose while uh, Kipper's thing decides to work. Ambrose. Do -do 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 -do. Hi. Let's see. Um, call it high or low? Uh, low. Low. Okay. I'm going for low blows. Okay. Roll. Uh, roll an attack damage, please. With your greatsword, you are I forced to do an attack uh, damage. Damage or an attack. Roll? Uh, an attack roll, please. Okay. 15. That does hit. Uh, unfortunately, it is not against Rix Moa, but against the guy, the other blob next to it. Roll for that damage. <laughs> and Kipper, you're fine. Okay. Alrighty. I, I don't think my damage roll is working. That's fine. Just roll for the thing. We're going to fix that. We're going to fix your sheets later. That's so weird. I don't know why it's happening. Um, two, I'm going to re roll both of those. Okay. Ten, so it's going to be 13 damage. Okay, 13 damage. Oh my goodness. Dude, you guys are dealing a lot of damage. Okay. I'm going to have to give Boy. you harder challenges now. Okay. Yeah, you, you hear the mumbling of this creature kind of get inside your head you 
get into like an enraged state and just kind of start swinging and you hit the creature next to you uh ambrose yeah with uh with your attack until the thing uh calms down uh i will say you cannot take reactions until the end of the next turn oh gotcha oh god the wisdom nice. saving throws are rolling in <laughs> all right oh, and it Jesus. is your turn umbrose as a matter of fact what are you doing all righty i uh briefly kind of like swing my head back and forth so i kind of re realize my sword is entrenched into the kind of fleshy skin of this one to the right of me uh -huh. i look back and forth before i like pull it out and in that same pull i use the force generated to try and skewer uh this one right here the one above okay roll for your attack yeah uh am i currently flanking with yes Skipper? as a matter of fact you are currently flanking have advantage on your attack Alrighty. this will be Thing. Okay. A 17 to hit. That does hit. Roll for your damage. Try and... Yeah, no, I don't know. It's not working. I'm right, just we'll gonna do the regular session. thing. Yeah. Uh, it'll be 12 damage. And with that, you skewer this creature and it just kind of deflates into a pile of what looks like goo or flesh. You are not sure. And, and then... Uh... I will go ahead and just move myself right here, I suppose. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? No, I'll, I'll stay right here. This right. is technically safer, just in case it tries to, like, run towards someone else. Easy enough. It is this thing's turn. Seeing how one of its uh, companions have been gone, he is going to try and use its multi-attack. First of all, spinning onto the wall next to him and i want rex Maul, and jory and ambrose to give me a dexterity saving throw please easy easy sir yes sir i, I don't know i thought the other one was gonna be easy too so nice oh get him okay okay and uh ambrose Uh, let's see. All right. 20. All of you guys. Not bad, not pass. bad. And this guy is going to use its bite attack against Ambrose because it was the last guy to hit something. And let's yes, see. Indeed. Does a. That is a 20. Dirty 20. Motherfucker. I know this thing's that attack. That is a so, dirty 20. Uh, uh, oh my yeah, goodness. This thing it's gonna deals, hurt. This thing deals a lot of uh, fucking damage. Oh I I know it does a lot of damage. Holy shit. Oh no. Oh it's... you take 19 points of piercing damage. Holy <laughs> are, are, are you like dead? <laughs> like... No, that's half my health though. And that is all it can do for now. Ooh. That is it for its turn, Jory. I mean, it's more than half, but I'm I'm mostly okay. You're fine. You're I'm, fine. I'm still above ten HP, so. <laughs> <laughs> Jory, it is okay. your turn. Um, plus six. Do it. That does hit. hit. Not that shit, bro, dude. Okay. D four plus two. Ow. Bam. Okay. Easy enough. These claws are sharp today. Sir, you can see it's looking quite rough already. Just had your nails done. Is that it for your turn, Jory? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I should have been with advantage, but you still hit, so it's fine. Kipper, you see this thing like stretch into a huge mouth biting uh ambrose and then turn back to just get slashed by uh by jory what are you doing 
heal him. Ooh, you're gonna use your last mana point to heal him? No, kill. Oh, heal. kill. Okay, I thought you said heal. <laughs> kill me. Yeah, kill kill me. He's a sicko. He just wants to keep wailing on this thing. All right, roll yeah. for your attack then. Kill John Lennon. Kill John Lennon. Kill John Lennon. Okay, I pressed the button. You know, I'm just gonna roll. Maybe it's, gonna a, roll. it's a better thing to roll like that. There must be some lag going on with the sheets or something. Uh, what would my roll be for a two It, uh, d20 plus your strength modifier, which I'm pretty sure is like a plus one. Okay, so my d20 plus one would be 13. Let me double check my strength. It should be I think it's plus not one. much. Oh, it's zero. Oh, it's so plus it's zero. 12. It, you still hit. The damage will be 1d8. I'm pretty sure. 1d8 plus 0 because strength modifier. So just roll me a 1d8, I guess. Okay. A 4. I'm so strong. It still hurt him. You know what? It still hurt him. Better, like better, better. Uh, or a thick cheese. Is that it for your turn, Kipper? Yes. All right, Torin. You're up. You can see the grotesque mouth that just almost enveloped your friend and everybody beating it up. What are you doing? <laughs> I am. You know what? Because I got enough mana. I'm going to go ahead and heal uh, Ambrose. All right. Which one are you going to be doing? Oh, oh there is it, Warhammer. <laughs> nice. A bit late there. A bit late, but it works. Oh, so I'll, I'll cast the healing spirit. Healing spirit, would you mind linking oh, that up in chat? Uh, sure, I'll click on it. Oh god, I might have to read sheet <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ah! Wait, 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 wait. Right. hold on, hold on, let me, let me... That let was me. just the actual <laughs> heal it does. That's what it does, a plus one? What, what? Uh, let's see, spells real quick, hold on, healing um, spirit... I don't think healing How spirit has work? a bonus because it just kind of stays there. Uh, you can fourth a nature spirit to soothe the wounded. The intangible spirit appears in a space that is five foot cube. You can see within range. It looks like however you want to look. Uh, whenever a creature you can see moves into the spirit's face for the first time on a turn or starts its turn there, you can use the spirit to restore 1d6 point. Uh, okay, so where are you placing your spirit? Oh. Oh. Cool. Okay, I want to put him um, right here then, by Ambrose. Right by Ambrose, like right there? For the door. Yeah, like right okay. there. Okay, awesome, awesome. I'm going to give you a little, little guy it's right here. a fairy. Here. Looks like a fairy? Okay. So Ambrose, <laughs> uh, once your turn starts, you will get a 1d6 healing. But overtime. not now. All right. Yeah, it's, it's kind of overtime. That's cute. Uh, remember to tick down oh, two of your mana points, because... It is a um, level two spell. It's all good. And is that it for your turn, Torin? That is it. All right, Rex Moa. We're up. What? You know what it is. Go ahead. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna kill him. This guy is almost dead. Don't let him do another attack. That does hit. All right. And what was my. Ugh. What is my damage again? Order staff is 1d6. Uh, 1d8 two handed. Hmm. That would be 1d8 plus uh, your dexterity modifier, so that would be yeah, 1d8 five. plus. Hmm. There we go. All right. Ooh, okay. It's looking rough. It's looking very rough, guys. It may not survive. All right. Yeah. Uh, yep. Mm, time to to end this thing rightly. Go ahead. That does hit. Roll for that damage. One d four plus five. Ooh, oh, right, a little bit short. A little bit short. But you can see <laughs> this right, thing. Ambrose. You can see this thing starting to deflate. Ambrose, at the start of your <laughs> turn, would you mind rolling a d six? Aye aye. You take six. six points of healing back to you. 
from six the Six points of damage. Yeah, no, six points of healing. I, I'm that is a massive... Ch- <laughs> That's a massive change in my health pool. <laughs> yes, and it is your turn. Alrighty. Uh, feeling the rather deep bite wound on me, I will try to push it off as I suddenly feel this uh, descending warmth that kind of replaces the injury I have. Not entirely, but enough to give me the strength to twist the sword around and attempt to, from above, just kind of plow it downward into the maw of this creature. Okay, go ahead and roll for your attack. And I am flanking with joy this time, actually. Indeed, you have advantage. That does hit. I got a (laughs) 10. That does hit. That does hit still. Nice. Man. You just about hit. Uh, That was a... uh, I'm going to re-roll both of those. I will not even tell you to re-roll it because it was dead anyways. You guys left them with three (laughs) points of HP. (laughs) (laughs) So you just immediately stab it again. And the creature goes down. You guys are out of initiative now. I'll... Beep, beep, beep. Hey. I'll run the sword skewering through uh, where the mouth that uh, bit onto me, and then I'll just rake it downward to try and split the mouth open. It, you cut it in half, <laughs> split it open. You can see it's a weird amalgamation of, like, kind of flesh, kind of, like, ooze. It's nasty. <laughs> Careful, Kipper. Looking around. <laughs> you know, once trap starts triggering and Kipper dies. Oh no! Quick, <laughs> <Here. Please. laughs> like, You're y'all. supposed to be. Uh-huh. You're supposed to be the protection from death, not the harbinger. <laughs> what? What's this blue thing? That yeah. is the oh, is fairy. Spit? Yeah, like, the spirit of. Uh, oh yeah. The the very curious. How long does your spirit last? And you... Uh, that's a- uh, let me check real it, quick. The, it's, a, it's like one plus for spellcasting modifier, I think. No, that's the, yeah, amount, no, that's the amount of I'd healing like you... I'd like to go in and investigate uh. the room. Alright, yeah. hold on. First twice. of all, first of all, okay. before you do that, the it's spirit fine. lasts for a minute, so you technically still have it, and you have... Uh, an amount of heals equal to that would be a that would be five heals you already used one so you have four extra heals that I can allow you to oh. on people cool anybody need healing up <laughs> I'm <laughs> still <laughs> injured <laughs> yeah I, I think one of us in particular I'm still sure. hurting a lot Let's go ahead and give Ambrose a little more heals then. <laughs> How many? You have four more. I got four. I can. Let's use what? How many do you think? Maybe two? Uh, minimum of two. And even if I get max on both, I'm still going to be hurting. <laughs> oh. Well, go ahead. Give it a go, I guess. Does he have to roll like a. Ooh. All right. That's three points of healing. Yeah, that's, that's not a lot. It's <laughs> that's something. Still that is two. You still have two more. Uh, was anyone else injured during that fight? I'm totally good. I don't think so. I think it was just all you. <laughs> and then it might just be a par- might be a good idea just for me to take all of it because otherwise go it's just gonna it's just gonna disappear with no benefit. All right, then we'll go ahead and roll your two six extra. That's better. Ten okay. more heals. That's m- that's much better and brings me up to max. In fact, perfect. Nice. There you go. And your spirit goes. And done. Easy enough. I was, I was nigh perfect, in fact. That was one over my max. Now, Kipper, hey. since you've already entered and looked around the room, <laughs> would you mind giving me a perception check? I love... I love giving perception. I've been in here. I know things. Hold on. Do you? Do you I know, know things? Uh, as oh, Mina Triloba is the Latin name of the paw paw tree. Yeah, yes. Yes. <laughs> 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 oh, 
hold on. Uh, perception check. Mm-hmm. Roll. Oh my oh, goodness! Nice. That's, that's a solid one and a half. I oh, see everything. Nice. God damn! Jeez. I know not everything. I see. I see the molecular bonds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Kipper. Inside of this place, you can see it's kind of nasty because of those things. You can see like okay. fragments of these things all over the place. Uh, but exploring around and looking inside, you can also um, see that this room, in fact, was some sort of, uh, we'll call it a storeroom of sorts, but for value. And um, scrounging around what you're getting, you would get, see, get, you would find a fine leather coin purse with some silver uh, linings. Yes, I, I don't know. Inside would contain 25 gold pieces. Ooh, gold. And uh, oh. you will find. Let's see. Hey, you. That's better. You will find a piece of quartz that, uh, when appraised, would give you 50 more gold. Ooh. Wow, we could take it back to my quartz garden. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and glitters. Make sure to add those <laughs> items to your list. I hey. just did. Because if you forget, I may not remember I, myself. <laughs> I, I, I am trying. Good. I still remember that 15 silver. I still need that. Just, Don't forget to add it, like, though. Because if you forget. Yeah, I, my, my character sheet is just like, just doesn't want to. Like I'll you. try and add them to, yeah. to your sheet. But okay. Mine started being nice again. Yeah, it must be something, because I'm not getting any lag, but then again, uh, whatever. So, after defeating those two abominations, what are you guys doing? Uh, just breathing it out for a moment, kind of leaning on uh, my sword. Did they, no. did they, like, leave a corpse? Yeah, as I said, it's like a, it's the same, like, abomination thing. It's just kind of deflated on the wind, mm -hmm. on the water. It's like, mm. uh, as I said, it looks like a combination between like ooze and flesh. It's disgusting. Mm. You see teeth and eyes everywhere, but this mm. is just dead. Uh, is there any signs in this room that like someone might have fallen victim to them or is it just relatively? Why don't you give me like an dirty? investigation check? Oh, I already dirty. gave a stellar investigation. Oh, no, I gave you perception. did perception. You were just running around like crazy. I remember. I'm pretty sure my investigation is <laughs> terrible. I think it's like minus one. <laughs> it's minus one, yeah, because it's based on your intelligence. Banana corn, yanya. Oh. Banana Yeah. Banana 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 Oh, holy. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> my, my investigation rolls are cursed. Rex Moa. <laughs> that was good. I'm not sure you rolled them for 10. You are not Catch entirely in sure if there has been <laughs> a corpse in here. <laughs> it could That's how be. I walked into the room. <laughs> is, there, is there a room in here? Is this a room? At yeah. first glance. I, I walked in and then I, I, I turned around and I was like, what is I doing here? And then I, I walked back out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At first glance, just looking around, it's like, all right. <laughs> and it's like, okay. I'd like okay. to imagine that any time you try to investigate, something like sprays you in the eyes. <laughs> did he see? Did you say he's seen a corpse, or he did not? Hey, he does uh, he not. Might see. Have. He, he might have. He may have. He's Can not I sure. Can I try and look around? <laughs> all right, all right. Give me one <laughs> investigation I check. I will say though, the this last investigation check will uh, will basically will be the last one to roll. I mean, I'll look around and then I'll also ask the question I was going to ask uh -huh. about those monsters. Yeah. Is that in Torn, Torn will Torn be asking this. It's just I'm going to try and get in character a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, 
these monsters were fighting, um, you don't think they're the monks, do you? There's my mm. I don't know. Oh, I was going to do the Nan again. Oh, uh, god damn it. Nan. Let me check real quick. Nan, 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 nan. Uh, your yeah, intelligence is plus one, so just roll me a d20 plus one. D20 plus one. Plus one, just ten. Yep. Um, Torin, you immediately cannot find a corpse in here. Mm. However, suspicious. Um. However, you find this a it's... very interesting-looking paper. But, um, again, very much damaged. A lot of the ink has, uh, been erased. And this is what you find. Got a letter. Mind reading it for, uh... Once it oh. loads. No, it loaded. It's just very faded. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my. I gotta put my glasses the, on. The is text round. is white. So shall the blank... And he plicked as literally this is like okay. <laughs> this reminds me of when I when I when I used to play Neopets and they would do like the <laughs> the plots and you would have to like read hidden messages like this. Neopets, oh my god, yes. Let's see. As the blank Vithyeth lays, so shall something fail. Uh something's blank by the way. I, that, that's that I'll just be filling it in there. As the grace falls, so shall corn asunder a world in darkness. Cadius die, so shall the ever to wander the world. Yep. Hopefully that was close to what was there. <laughs> As you can see, I mean, it is a paper that uh, has taken a lot of water damage and some of the ink has been erased from it. Uh, and yeah, I mean, that's what you see from it. Yeah, you made that a challenge. Thanks oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that that's weird. about what you can find in the. Got a letter. OK, well, then I'm done here. Curiosities are still peaked, though. I'm kind of wondering why we're not finding a lot of bodies. Hmm. Mm. We're finding a lot of monsters. I mean, uh, I think the carpets ate them. You sure? Yeah. You know, they did want power. What if that power changed them? Hmm. I think hmm. that the corpses are the lasagna things we just fought. <laughs> <laughs> that was me as hmm. Torn actually asking those questions, though, just so you guys know. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I was just I was letting you know. <laughs> I know I, I don't really change my voice a lot. What but. did you ask again? Oh, with me like being curious, because that's what Torin does. She's 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 curious and she always asks questions, so she's like, hmm, you know. Hmm. Wondering well, why there's, there's no bodies and a bunch of monsters basically. Hmm. Not sure about these things here, but the mimics from before, like as not, they just came here after the fact. They're ambush monsters, like I said before. Taking advantage of the fact that it was abandoned. Waiting for people like us to come here so they can attack. Hmm. That's not very kind. Hmm. These things, though, don't have a clue. And the wizard, in his journal that Kipper found. I... I'd like to believe that there's more than one wizard in the world, but I have a sneaking suspicion we may know which wizard it is. I think it's our friend from the forest all those I'm days ago. I'm hoping not. Hmm. Curious. Hmm. Curious indeed. I... Uh, I don't know what brought us here specifically, but I do know 
if we want to find out what's going on, I have a feeling we have to go look through the uh, big old stone door that's kind of whispering things to us. Mm. Jory kind of like perks up at the mention of the door. I think we uh, should... N- nerd thing. Can we do a <laughs> handwriting comparison between the two documents that we found? Are they similar at all? Hey. Ooh, that's an interesting Ooh. one. I will say, uh, clearly not written by the same uh, handwriting. But then again, this is a place where a lot of knowledge is. So wouldn't be an uncommon thing to find different uh, handwritings for things. Anybody good with typography? Hmm. I read a book once. Yes, I've I have had to copy many a manuscript in my days as a student. So you're good with signatures. <laughs> yes. I wouldn't say I'm good at them, uh, but I have <laughs> have had to sign many a report. Okay. Well. So here we are, back again. Brown Tell a up. friend. Uh huh. The big double doors. I. Th- I don't know about you guys, but uh, are you ready for whatever's behind this? Hmm. I'll equip my torch. Hmm. Torch. <laughs> I have a torch. You have a torch. Good. To um, light the way. I am going to have to give you the lights and everything once we're done over here, but damn. Yep, yeah, so you are standing in front of the imposing double door. What are you? I believe we're opening them. We gotta light the way, don't we? Or isn't there like four torches that are unlit? Yes, correct. There are four uh, like sconces oh. that are unlit. I think we should definitely light them. Uh, is this like a all at the same time type deal? Uh, we should. Yeah. Are you gonna try and light to... them? Well, if I can ignite my torch. <laughs> yeah, totally. I mean, you have it, so. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I need a gasoline and a little. Thing, no, a little no, no. It's already like made for stone. you. You could probably just like. <laughs> Find our way. Okay. Yes, you light up your torch, and you're gonna get close and try to light up one of the sconces. Okay, mm-hmm. I yep. will do that. Okay, awesome. So you, in with your torch, try and light it, but it doesn't really light up. Does it react at all to the, like the fire and heat? Nope. Hmm. Nothing. Interesting. Mm. Turn to be like very interesting. How strange. Is there, is there anything stopping us from opening the door? You haven't tried pushing it now, have you? Not yet. <laughs> that's just my that's the tour in ways. Oh, okay. <laughs> Seems uh, like quite the heavy door. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the initiative and well actually uh Mm-hmm. Jory, would you want to open the door? I know you've been transfixed on it for a while. He um, kind of just says nothing. Just is has been staring at the door the entire time. He tries <laughs> to give it a little push. Jory, the door is incredibly heavy. You feel as if there is something blocking. Hmm. You need help. Just give me a nod. Hmm. (laughs) Incredibly heavy. Hmm. You don't think we could all like? There's no way we could all like use our strength to push it open. Can I try to, like, gleam some information just from, uh, yeah, observing the door about, like, what possible mechanism could be inside? Just from my past adventures? Give me an investigation check. World-famous investigation check incoming. 
Go for it. <laughs> okay. oh. I literally have not rolled above a 10. <laughs> He sees stuff. Um, it is hard to tell what kind of mechanism uh, this door has. Uh, it may be related to the four torches that are uh, not sconced, I guess, uh, that are unlit in front of you. But Rex Moore, the door doesn't look that heavy to you. Hmm. Oh. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put my hands on the door. Yeah, two hands. Uh, I'll give it a push. Okay. Rex Moa, you can push the door unlike Jerry. Uh, you do feel like there is some resistance to it. However, once you move it and you start seeing a slight opening, the door just closes back. Hmm. Did I gleam anything when, like, I saw, like, the opening? Was there, like, any light or anything? Did I hear anything? You do not see any light or hear any sounds. I can give you this without any rolls. Uh, it is pitch black inside. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> so should we all... It seems like the door reacts specifically to, like, individual people. It doesn't seem based off of actual strength. Should we all give it a go individually? Um, Jory, what do you think about the door almost opening? Hmm. Um. Can I make, like, some sort of check to, like, you know, push it a little harder. Sure. Uh, if you want to give me a strength check. Okay. Uh, looks like it's a plus two. Oh. Jory, you push and push and push with all your might. But nothing. The door doesn't even mm -hmm. budge for you. You can see I'm like getting f more and more frustrated with each push. Like he really wants to get that thing open. Mm. I would like to uh, attempt pushing the door. Hipper, without a roll, almost the same thing as Rixmore had. The door is. Just about to open, there is a small crack where you can see barely nothing because it's pitch black inside, but it closes up again. Uh, I was about to say maybe we need a bear lady, but then I'm like, wait, but bear, if turn into bear, maybe I... his strength doesn't seem, but bear lady just be normal lady. Uh, I will give uh, you a little bit of a We clue. should all try together? Wait, before that, I will give you a little bit of a clue. But I want everybody to give me an insight check first. Insight sounds like a good idea. When I do insight, I just see my brain. And oh, then come I on. Uh, what stat is insight based off? Uh, wisdom. Wisdom. Uh, wisdom. Torrent for you would be a plus four. That would be like a D20. D20 plus four. Okay. I see with okay. my eyes. Uh, all right. And I'm just waiting for uh, Rex Moa. Uh, what was it? Insight? Insight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Insight. There we go. Nice. Okay. I am going nice. to DM something. Uh, to you two, uh, Rex Moa and uh, Ambrose. Uh, sure. I feel like whenever I do it, I'm always the one that ends up having to explain. But Listen, I feel it, like it's been exclusively <laughs> Villa and Dishonor. Well, funny like enough. To <laughs> Today's me? your day. I said it. <laughs> it's me? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. This is going to be fun. Uh, 
let's see. Oh my goodness, what did we do? Uh, no, Carpus was the previous time. We kept walking around, making my way downtown, walking fast, slapping ass, and I'm homebound. Uh, <laughs> dang nabbit. This is, uh, I've, so basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna explain, and then Dishonor's going to fact check me, probably. Well, this is why I like to make uh, people explain uh, first, because, uh, you know, of the, the what people remember and what not. It, it kind of helps, like, in character sort of deal. Yeah, no, it really does. So I remember going up near the chair where we read some ominous, ominous uh, stuff written by someone could have been a monk, could have also not been a monk. Oh, I definitely remember uh, hearing a door of whispers and us going, hmm, door of whispers. And uh, we knocked on the door and then we opened the door and it was just two like nightmare eldritch creatures. And then we immediately closed the door and we were like, no, thank you. Yeah, that's what happens when uh, me and Torin lockpick. Don't, don't let us lockpick because then we like, <laughs> let horrifying things out and then we decided uh well i don't think it was my decision i think it was like uh i think rex moa and dishonor and jory all decided that they were gonna gang up on the the meat things so we all hid because Torin was like still using a stealth thing for us to get past all the armor previously which was like Oh, that's spectacular. I love that. Uh, so we all hid. I, I maybe had to move hiding places once or twice because Rex, Moa, and Dishonor were like, that's dumb. Don't hide there. You'll die. Uh, and then we killed the meat things. And then we went back to the door. Uh, after we got back to the door, uh, you could definitely see Jory was hyper fixated on the door multiple times. And we all tried giving it a go. Jerry tried the first time and he couldn't move it. Uh, Villa tried moving it the second time and he was able to get it to budge. Jerry tried moving it again. He couldn't move it at all. And he's like irritable at this point. And then I tried moving it and I got the same reaction Villa did. It budged a little bit, but not all that much. And then I think we managed to... Did we manage to open it yet, or are we still trying to open it? No, you have not managed to open it. Okay, so that's where we are. Uh-huh, exactly, exactly. Dishonor, what did I miss? I think you got uh, it, honestly. Really just the fact that me and Rex Moa had something. You guys got uh, an interesting information um, that I have uh, secretly that I have secretly told you. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. So, but also to be fair, it didn't really affect you. So, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. You failed the check. So, I think as you guys are here. In front of the imposing doors, I, I'm going to remind you guys that the door are the doors are a large stove made out of stone, and in between the two doors there is the carving of um, the a four pointed star, and there are four torches that are unlit in the doors. Uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, Torin, you tried lighting up the tor the, the the sconces, and I guess with your torch. And they did not light up. If I am correct. Um, but yes, you also discover that Star is a representation of Krenia, the god of creation. The god of creation. Mm-hmm. So, what are you guys doing now? Uh, see. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I... Right, sorry, uh, Torin and um, Ambrose, you're gonna have to drag your tokens again because I had to remove them to fix some of your character sheets that were messing up. Drop 
Oh, yes, I can see the difference immediately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, have you uploaded your picture? I don't think I did. Oh, then, yeah, that's that's what you gotta do. <laughs> but I can real quick. Yeah, that's all good. That's all good. In the meantime, Get what it. are you guys doing? Uh, yeah, uh, Kipper uh, explained it very well. And uh, yeah, you basically have not been able to open the door. It has barely budged, but not enough for you to see too much on the inside besides me, because, you know, the inside is pitch black. But other than that, you have not, uh, you have not gone any anywhere further. I think from the last point, uh, Rex was trying to get all of us to push the door at the same time and see how that worked. Mm -hmm. I think that's right. Rex Moan Ambrose, any thoughts about the information that you may have discovered? I just whispered something to you. Oh, you can. We can all see it. Uh, you can do it. I mean, everybody's gonna see it. But yes, okay. uh, you can do it. Well, everybody in stream. That is, the players will okay. not. If you whisper to the GM, <laughs> only I will see it. But, but yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Uh, is there any way I can do like a silent roll, or should I just roll in front of everyone? You and then, can like, people... roll in front of everyone if you want to. Right. But there is a you little thing that says whisper. Mm. I'm pretty uh, sure on your character sheet. Or whisper mm. to GM, something like that. It's like a little okay. turbo. If you mm. want to, that's all up to you. Um, what, what kind of role would this be? What kind of role would this be? It would be a. Ooh, that would be. Uh, like, give me, give me a history. A history. Oh. Ooh, okay. How do you do the whisper? Do you see how there's like you on? Oh wait, the actually, no, no, no. You, it says, you're like, trying public, to. You can click whisper instead. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. No, no, no. Since right, you're trying that. to figure out, but let me let me read what you sent before. Actually, before I tell you to, to roll, because I'm pretty sure you told me something specific that you wanted to do. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So if that if, if that is what you want to do specifically, yes, a history check. Okie dokie. Well, dude, this is gonna be my first amazing history check. Watch let's this. go. Watch let's this. go. I believe. I believe. I believe in you. Oh, <laughs> good vibe. Okay. Good okay. Okay. Vibe. Oh yeah. Look at that. The whisper roll. Oh wait. Yeah. It's because I've joined as a player in the other screen. Okay. Mm. With that history check, that is uh, not good. Say. Mm. Um. I will tell you. The, the only thing that you know that could give it away is unusual behavior. Mm -hmm. But that's about it. Uh, as for that last inquiry, you don't really know about that. Mm -hmm. uh, where is Torin? She's probably uploading her token and uh okay. Sorry, I was trying to be quick about it, but I think somewhere near us. There you go. There she is. <laughs> I'm here. Mm. Why are you hanging out with the skeleton chandelier? Mm. <laughs> I came in like a wrecking ball. Yes, no. sir. Oh, good. What's going on? She had a bone to pick with it, you know. Exactly. So I mean, oh, you okay. I'm just, I, I'm just telling. I'm whispering something to Ambrose real uh -huh. quick. Uh, are you, are you guys trying to be like sneaky about it, or are you like mm -hmm. you did it in character or out of character? That's uh, that's my in, thing. In character, uh, I'm whispering to Ambrose, just like a, just a quick like passing conversation outside okay. of earshot of a uh, the other the other members of our party. All right, all right, all right. Hmm. You can also just message me on Discord too, uh, Dishonor, if that's faster. I think that might be because you have it the quote be, command and uh, everything, yeah. Yeah, it might, might yeah. be a bit faster. I will say uh, my immediate reaction after last session is Kind of like as we're like looking over the vault doors, as we're kind of trying to figure out what we can and can't do, mm -hmm. I'll just start frowning and back a little, back up a little bit, 
and mm. just kind of lean on my sword, just looking up and down huh. the doors, every once in a while mm. glancing towards my companions. Mm. Hmm. All right. Uh, so I, after whispering to Ambrose, I look towards the rest of our, our intrepid, beautiful crew, and uh, Rex Moa says, uh, I'm going to need you all to trust me on this one. It, it is of dire importance. Everyone has to take their clothes off. Huh? Uh, <laughs> I expected you to take that. Hey, the old, you know, the, <laughs> how the ladies, like the old corsets and like the long, like underwear bloomer things. That's all I'll be wearing. Like, serious? <laughs> What's it wrong? No. Uh, Rex Even Mala that. Explain. Hmm. I. Oh. I had some kind of message, a revelation, if you will, that I think is of great importance. And I have dealt with matters like this in the past. And if I remember correctly, this is how we resolved it. So I'm just going to need you all to place your trust in me so we can solve this as painlessly as possible. Huh. Uh -huh. With Crania's blessing. Was that a message from the perv deity or something? <laughs> I, I raise my eyebrow and I look at Ambrose and I'm like, I'm doing good, right? And like, like this is how you would approach it, right? I don't say that, but my expression communicates that message. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you somewhat of a weird look. Mm. However, my immediate response, after hesitating somewhat momentarily, I will start to pull off my chainmail and mm. just kind of gently just kind of toss it on the floor along with the, <laughs> my pack. And mm. I will just start like unbuttoning the very like, and, like undoing like a threads, the uh, very basic tunic that I have underneath. Did I remind you guys if you are going without any armor and you do not have the unarmored defense passive, your armor class will be N. This is true. So I just lose. Tarn just turns into a bear. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm exactly. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, that's fine, but I'm just saying. But I can't stay in it permanently, as I was told before, so it's mm. for combat. Hmm. No, you can stay in it. I'm pretty sure Wild Ship lasts for like an hour, like normally. All right. Yeah, uh, okay. But I won't be able to talk. Yes, so. that is true. Thank you, Ambrose, for for going along with my request. And I would like to roll an insight check to see if what I find what I'm trying to find. You mean you know what I mean? On Ambrose? Yeah. Would it, would insight be the correct thing? Yes, please. Uh, no, actually, give me an investigation check. That would be the correct thing, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I don't have to whisper this anymore. If uh, you don't I, I want to, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is plain to see for everyone. Uh-huh. Okay. Mm. <laughs> you see your friend. Mm. You see Ambrose is uh, now only wearing whatever was below his armor. <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right. I suppose Why you guys would this? have How? you guys would have a better show of what's actually going on underneath my clothing, which is like I have the very strange mm -hmm. energy lines going mm -hmm. across like the downsides of my sides, and then it almost uh, wraps around like the shape of ribs along my chest, mm -hmm. and of course there is still like the almost like rocky formations along my entire body. Mm. So, yeah. uh, am I, are we mm. removing down to our undergarments mm. or yeah. exactly? All right. I, I, I take a sniff. I take a sniff of Ambrose and I'm like, okay, uh, you're clear. All right. Who would, who would like to be next? Kipper, as you were saying? <laughs> uh, uh, of the, it's, uh, uh. How much? Mm. That's very in character, by the way. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Well, uh, if I remember correctly from my expeditions, just enough to see your flesh. 
As a matter of fact, uh, I would like to roll a roll an inside check on your on Yuri. All right, go Yuri. ahead. Oh, that's true. Yuri's already uh, shirtless. Yeah. Wait, Yuri's already shirtless. It's investigation, yeah. right? Investigation, right, yes. All right, all right. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Okay. Uh, God, your <laughs> rolls are bad. Um, uh, well, I feel like we wouldn't have been in the situation if my rolls were good. You see <laughs> Jory standing mm. right next to you. I, I, sn <laughs> I sniff him and give him a big old... Hmm. Do I sense anything amiss? Wait, didn't Do you they... get an uh, advantage on something with scent? No, no, that's Jory who did. That's Jory, sorry. I was uh -huh. confused. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm. Um, as far as you mm. can tell, oh, mm. really? Like, if you're trying mm. to sniff it out, you, you pretty much smell the humidity of everything around mm. you. It smells like, mm. you know, very mm. humid. Mm. A dank dumb dungeon. Exactly. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it kind of just like looks at you annoyed as you're doing all that. It kind of smells like a wet dog. <laughs> it, it does. It actually does. Okay. <laughs> we we all currently a little bit wet right mm. now. Okay. That's funny. Uh, all right. A little bit bloody for that matter. I'm gonna ask Ambrose for the second opinion. It's like unfortunately my my senses are kind of dulled from all this water and moisture. <laughs> I will look back at the vault doors and say. I think I have an idea of where you're going mm. with this. I'm not against oh, it. <laughs> uh, okay, and then, yeah, I, I solemnly nod, and then I, I, I look at Kimper and I look at Torin. <laughs> I'm like, uh... wait. It's like, don't, don't worry. I assure you, uh, it will just be a quick, quick passing inspection. Also, don't don't do this to people you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. You hear do that, not. Vod Squad? Yeah. <laughs> do yeah, not. Th this th this oh. is a bad precedent. Don't do this, guys. Yeah. This might land you in a different place yeah. than where you started. Uh, Maxwell looks directly at the camera and says, "Consent is important." <laughs> Correct. Always this is giving is. me TSA flashbacks. <laughs> All right, back back in character time. <laughs> so wait, are you going to transform into a bear? Well, we're just going to be like uh, just mm. exploring, right? So mm. I'll just choose a different form then. Can I just mm. be a fox? Of course. Mm. Mm. If you want to be a fox, there is nothing stopping you from being a fox. You are a druid. Dude, I do this is a first. You, I do remind you that... First. Um, that uh, mm -hmm. smaller forms, like, you know, creatures that are not meant for combat, they mm -hmm. are that. They usually only have one HP and like 10 armor class as well, because they're oh. meant for that, for exploring, for, you know, other I'll stuff. Go back to my normal self, so I mean, it's not like I'm gonna die. Yeah, 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 exactly. I'm, no, I'm just saying, <laughs> just, just uh, to remind yeah, you. Like that's all good. That's fine. That's that's all I want to do is just explore if I get in there. I don't want to do anything too crazy. Okay. So, so uh, like, oh, sorry, sorry, go ahead. Go okay. ahead. Oh, I'll say, uh, Torin would be like, "There's one way to go about this." Um, and then she just, you know, turns to a little fox, basically. Uh -huh. <laughs> Breaks all her bones instantaneously. And all the cracking. <laughs> 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 Season. Okay. But mm -hmm, I'll be a fox. All right. You turn now into a fox. I'm gonna put you a little icon on your character to know that you have been uh, foxed. I've been I will put a <laughs> little foxified. dot on your mm. character. Mm. Mm. All right, okay. Uh, actually, I have a question. Uh -huh. Do you still retain your like color scheme when you uh, shape change into different animals? Dawn? Yes. I would. Okay. See, mm. I would say so. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, hmm. Uh, I feel like... Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to think, because as a player, I don't know if this is a pass, but I feel like... Ooh. <laughs> Why don't you give me uh, an inside check, please, to see if uh, I can uh, help uh, you uh, with uh, something. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm actually good at that. 
okay. piece into that. Mm. Okay, okay, Same. okay. Mm. I had to. You feel um, in the back of your mind something has given you the answer. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I I look at Torin's new fresh foxy form and uh, I nod my head with my with my hand on my on my chin while closing my eyes. I'm like, hmm, I think this constitutes as a pass. And now oh, my eye my eyes fall upon Kipper. Hmm. <laughs> I'll give kind of a sideways glance at Rex Moa as he comes. Mm. Thanks to himself. <laughs> mm. They're probably have, like, having a pretty similar uh, idea in my head. Okay. All right. well, it, well, if you don't, if you, if you don't want to, it's okay. you know, if you want to keep things on, I can just ask you questions instead. It's okay. Mm. I'll mm. survive. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, I turn around while you're you're doing your business. I guess. I don't know. I'm just taking like. Uh, mm. How much am I supposed to take off? Is it like a uh, well, well, let, situation? Let's say, like, let's say like you're going to the pool level. <laughs> okay, okay, that's better. I can deal with that. You know, we're, we basically are he at the starts, pool. He starts mm. taking off uh, mm. like his shirt, and you can kind of see underneath his shirt was chain mail, which is like, oh, that's where the armor was. It's just very tight. And then he takes that off and uh, pretty much everything is normal. There is a black scar mm. on his chest around where his heart would be. Mm. And uh, Kipper kind of just covers that with the shirt. He's like, are, are you ready now? I'm gonna do my thing. Oh! <laughs> Actually, good roll! Oh my All god, right. it's like the first. Right. Do I perceive any like, revelation <laughs> in addition to what I'm looking for? Well, I would say, you know, okay. Um, okay. because you and Kipper have developed mm -hmm. this little kind of uh, father son bond, you are able to discern a little bit more things about him. Mm -hmm. And again, in your mind, get uh, a little bit of a. Mm hmm. Uh, 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 Rex Moa breathes a, a sigh of relief upon conducting his investigation and uh, says, uh, Sorry if that stressed you out, lad. It's just we have a bit of a situation on our hands. And uh, I step back. And I, I talked to Ambrose. Mm. All right. Uh. I'll kind of take a couple of steps back as you. I can see you kind of like looking at me and mm. trying to talk. <laughs> All right. I'll just message you on Discord since that's the faster thing. Okay. 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 Interesting. Interesting. Sorry about that. I had to. I had to answer something. Would you mind repeating the last thing? Uh, I'm. I said I'm just going to talk to Dishonor on Discord. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. While you guys are um, talking to each other, you can hear clear as day the sound of footsteps, um, you know, going into the water because obviously this whole place is kind of flooded. You can hear mm -hmm. them running one from one of the sides, from the left side, one from the right side. Mm -hmm. And to your surprise, at the end of this large room, these bad boys over here, two figures appear. <laughs> they are, let me. Oh, well, they don't look well. No. You can see they are humanoid with a very uh, pale, almost like gray skin, their eyes, no pupils, and no discerning qualities. They look uh, very odd indeed. Mark Zuckerberg, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> it may be. As um, somebody's 
not been feeling very um, happy with the investigation that you have been doing. Uh, would my little doppelganger please show themselves? Oh my. Jory kind of like droops his shoulders down, just stares at the ground, and he starts laughing. Oh mm. no. And to all of you guys' is surprise, he starts speaking. Oh. And what he says is, you all should have left when you had the chance. Hmm. This should be over quickly. And he turns around. You can see how one of the creatures with pale skin and white eyes points at um points at Rex Maw and he goes, I want that one. <laughs> and the other one just kind of nods. And with that, you're going to roll initiative. Oh goodness. Do, 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 do. I have to open up my page. This is so much emotion. Oh yes. Oh god. Uh oh god. You guys are not not clicking your tokens. That is fine. I can add you. Oh, initiative? Yes, please. Initiative. Oh. Touring, I should remind you, you are still a little fox. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait! Oh uh, no, we we Fox. I Stop! I didn't say I started putting my clothes on yet. Oh, you have not. <laughs> mm. And as oh, I no. mentioned before, whoever doesn't have uh, an armor defense, your AC is now ten. Uh, okay. So my first action, which I hope yeah. is a bonus action, is put my clothes back on. Unfortunately <laughs> for you, armor takes a couple minutes to put on, and you cannot do it in a single combat turn. Hmm. Uh, uh, oh, they get to move first, or have you yeah, not rolled I for am, them yet? I'm, I'm rolling for them, yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, this is, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, shirtless Bip. Shirtless uh, Kipper has to fight off rich uncle people. <laughs> rich uncle people? What does that mean? It's my, my first <laughs> thought was that looks like my uncle, and my second thought was that looks like when billionaires slowly stop looking like people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, these guys are certainly not happy with what you have done. And this guy right here starts a combat round. He is going to... Oh, why did I close that? I am I am a little bit dumb. I, had, I need their character sheets. All right. He is going to... Um, move. One, two, three, four, five, six... Uh, and fuck it, he's gonna dash, just move right in front of, uh, Ambrose here. And that's gonna be his turn for now. Torin, you're a little fox. What are you doing? What can a fox do? Technically, do? <laughs> nothing, because they are no <laughs> combat animals. <laughs> I know. Can, I can shape. Sh I can go back to my normal self, can I? Yes, yes, you can. If using your bonus clothed. action, it's yes. quicker than putting clothes on. Well, Torin not... never took her clothes off. She just shape shifted. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. <laughs> so Cheating. I'll do that for my bonus. I'll go back to my normal self. Okay. I was ex excited to explore. Let me remove the little dot. There you go. You are now yourself. Alright, so let's see here. I need to do a bonus action, so then I can do one attack or something? Or? You can do an attack, cast a spell, or uh, whatever other thing you have as an action. Because you have still your action and your movement. Okay. So I can still move. So let me go ahead and... I'll move about here. Okay. And then I'm going to do Ice Knife. Ooh, onto who? I'm going to do that onto the guy right in front of um, Ambrose. 
Would you mind placing the ice knife? Because I'm pretty sure that's an AoE and it will hit Ambrose. Oh, and I yeah. want the other guy. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> what so, is the range on that attack? Uh, It's 60 feet. All right, you can easily get him. All right, well then roll for your attempts. Just, I'm pretty sure that's a roll. I think I just got to click it, don't I? Yes, that is a oh. definitely a hit. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Give me the guy farther Click away. for yeah. the damage now. And then damage. Let's see if it works. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. And then it also they do a deck save. I think it is. Oh, take you are 2D6 right. You are we'll right. Let me. Least, I like this girl. All right, go. deck save. <laughs> what is your spell save DC? Myself, mine. Spell save DC, yeah. What do you see that? It should be on your spells. That is what uh, the enemies will have to pass if they want to uh, succeed on any saving throws that you give them. Let me check real quick on your character sheet if I can find it on your spells. There it is, DC 14. That is unfortunately oh. a miss. Aww. Uh, no, for him. So you hit him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and Aww. roll me, because this is. Do, 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 do. Two, roll me 2d6, please, because that is an extra cold damage that he's going to take. Okay. You said one or two? 2d6. Two 2d6, two so I just need to have two? Yeah, okay. Boom, you hit him. Yep. He's hurting. He's hurting. Hurt. So. Is and it's in place. No. <laughs> <laughs> and is that it for your turn? Uh, yeah, that'll be it for me. Awesome, awesome, Ambrose. What are you up to? <laughs> As the uh, interesting creature that I totally don't know the name of <laughs> that uh -huh. the game was uh, comes towards me, I will grab my sword, just kind of scraping it across the ground and swinging it upwards. And I'll go ahead and say, I'd let you pray to your god, but your message won't reach them before you do. And I will go ahead and do an menacing attack against them. Okay. That is a long rest. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, fine. Yeah. That is all good. <laughs> Yori just goes to sleep. I hit. I know, 14 right? to hit. 14 to hit. That does hit. Roll nice. for your damage. Like I said, I am going to do a menacing attack. Uh huh. So that will add an additional D8 damage. Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. That's the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. I, wait, did I press no, it? No, you didn't. The damage. That's, that's good. Yeah. Uh, there it is. Oh, there's the damage. There's yeah, damage. that okay. is 14 points of damage. Um, that is plus I will the D8. go ahead and... Yeah, I'm going to re-roll that two on the second D6. Okay. Oh, it's more. It All is more. Right. It's one it's 15 more. 15 points of damage. <laughs> you 15 heard points. And also, uh, menacing attack. I will go ahead and do this for you. So they need to make me a wisdom saving throw or be frightened of me. Alrighty, alrighty. What is your spell save DC? Or your save DC, it I guess is, you don't have a spell. Uh, let's see. It was... Uh, 14? He saves. Alrighty. Uh, then what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go ahead and action surge. Okay. And as I swipe the sword, I'm going to bring it back around and attempt to skewer him on the blade. All right. Go ahead. It's a 12. That is a miss. You see how the, the creature just kind of unnaturally just bends to a side and just absolutely avoids your attack. And with that, I am, let's see, um, I'm just going to stand right here, not leaving his attack radius, Okay. but just uh, kind of put myself a little bit more in the range of the other ones. So they will go after, maybe go after me instead. Okay. And I'm going to use uh, my 
bonus action blade ward. Awesome, awesome. To give me resistance to non magical damage. Let me put a little dot on you. All right. There you go. Which is the last one of those I have. That is all good then. If that is for your turn, yes, that's correct. That's yes. all good. Uh, perfect. And Rex Moa, it is your turn. Okay, I actually would like to do something special. I want to, I want to grapple with Fake Yori and okay. try to knock him prone. All right. In order to, uh, in order to, what's it called? Make sure that Torin and Kipper are free from harm. All right. So, how this is gonna work? You need to, uh, Rex Moa, You need to either do me a, a athletics, strength, or dexterity check because you're a monk. Uh, and Jory, mm -hmm. you will have to do a either str uh, strength save to see if you get uh, grappled mm -hmm. or not. Dude, this is some the, some Baki type deal. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, <laughs> strength versus dex. Ooh, uh, ooh, ooh. Okay, hey, you ooh. know what? Hey, you could you <laughs> okay. could have better. Uh, you know what? Uh, no, you could. Do you, you have a? Let's you fucking go, a... dude. My my dex is fucking insane. Let's do this. I'm defending my friends. Come on. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> That's a good one. Dude, okay, that was okay. such a close roll. And Jory, you are now grappled. Uh with grapple, that means uh you're uh, the grapple condition, sorry, I my my brain is not working right now. The grapple condition, let me remind you guys what that is. Uh ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, conditions grappled. Yeah, sorry, I have to open the document. Just for the viewers out there and for us as well. If it decides to load, that would be awesome. No, your movement speed there is, set it is. To zero. Yes. Once you're grapple, your movement speed becomes zero, and uh, you cannot benefit from any bonus that will change that speed. Um, the condition ends when the grappler is incapacitated, of course. And the condition also ends if the grapple creature uh, just gets moved by any other thing. Other than that, that's about it. You basically just have him pinned down and you will not mm. be able to move. But is it a good mm. idea to pin down an angry werewolf, I, I ask you? <laughs> mm. hey, we don't do these things because they're good ideas. We do these things because <laughs> we want to defend our friends. True, 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 true. Spoken mm. quite nicely. And is that it for your turn, Rex Moa? So this is an attack, right? Grappling this is, is an, an attack. action, yes. Okay, so I, while I have fake Yori grappled, I will go for an unarmed strike. Well, no, wow. it's it's an action, not an attack. If you have oh, the grappler feet, okay, okay. you could oh, do mm. an action, uh, bonus Actually, action. Okay. Is it an attack? Mm. Actually, a grapple counts as a special attack. Oh, okay, then well, you I'll can, allow it. You can, in fact, attempt to grapple and then still benefit mm. from extra attack. All do right. I have to roll to hit, or is this yes. like a guarantee? Okay. You do have to roll to hit, because you're just... Mm. It, think about mm. it like, you know, like MMA mm. kind of deal. You're struggling yeah, against them. Actively you're... struggling. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. All right. Let's see it. Let's see it. Oh, Jory, does that hit? Um... Mm. Uh, yes. That does hit roll for your damage. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to think that... So, Rex Moa, wait. like, dives under the water. Oh, wait. Did it not hit? Were you going to say something, uh, Zoralis? Wasn't my AC, like, supposed to be custom? Yes, it should be. seems a little low. It should be. Let it's me check real quick. 10 plus your con mod, plus ten, your dex mod. 10 plus dexterity plus constitution... Let me check real quick. 10 plus, uh, that will be, you have 12. Oh, that does not hit, my friend. Ooh. Yeah, I so. barely does not hit. Is it yeah, supposed so, uh, to be 16? It is 16. I will, uh, Ooh, good math. I yeah. will put that into your sheet now. Perfect. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for, for reminding me. Yeah, those little things that we got to check out. Oh. But yes, that does not hit then. Um, is that it for your turn, okay, Rexmoa? There we go. Yes, that is it for my turn. Me and Fake Yori are, are engaged in melee combat. Oh, <laughs> yes, you are. Play. Yes, you are. Okay, so, um, Kipper, you are, uh, you have no armor right now, and, uh, there's shit going all around you. 
What are you doing? Uh, let's see. I so I have one mana. I have no shirt. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And one of these stupid guys just uh, said that he wanted to fight my dad. So uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna take my big hammer out. Okay. And uh, I'm just gonna move closer to to Rex, just in case, maybe okay. around here. If you leave I'll... Jory's the attack range, you will take an attack of opportunity. Am I still if... in his attack if... range? Yes. Even if I have them grappled? That does not oh. give any disadvantage whatsoever, apparently. In the hey, you're, you're out for this, blood, holy this shit. Is the same uh, range, though, well, right? Well, keep in mind that the range of the attack is fi- one square all around the... the the what's it called oh. the, the attacker so it would be like right here let me make it a little rectangle jory's attack range is this oh okay so i'll go like this i guess okay yeah you can totally do that wow that was so momentous but i will take this opportunity uh wait a second does that mean did we lose jory out in the fog mm. uh Rex Moa, you can just he- hear him like bubbling a little bit as him and Yori thrash in the water. Just fucking <laughs> duking it out, like Yori. Mm. going ham at each other. So? Ambrose, how did how did you and Rex have any idea something was wrong? Did. Uh, yes, as um, as uh, Greeny just said, a technically a D and D turn. Uh, um, actually, a D and D turn is supposed to be six seconds. I will allow a little bit of dialogue, uh, but Dang just Abbott. don't don't take the whole time. Just you know. Oh, okay, that's it. You're not gonna move an attack. Uh. I'm gonna, if I get any aggro on me, I'm like, dusted. Done you are and a puny little bunny man. I'm a puny little bunny man that doesn't have like his secret underneath armor anymore. Correct. <laughs> Is that it then for your turn? Uh, I would like to say that you do naturally start with a light crossbow. Correct. Me? Most, of, most of the classes have a, a ranged option. Most of them. Mm. What the heck? Do I have? You should. I don't remember that being in. Yeah, my... you. Unless you didn't you, pick it up, maybe. You automatically I'd... start with a light crossbow, or you could choose a simple weapon. I'm pretty sure you chose a simple weapon. Was... Well, because uh, what you call it? Uh, you got to have the warhammer, which is separate from the simple weapon. My Ooh. simple weapon is. I think uh, a dagger. You chose. It was a dag- knife. Uh, you no, the knife. it was the, it was the quarter staff. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Which I do not use. Never mind then. I yep. think I'm gonna have to sell my quarter staff. Oh, well, at this point, nothing you guys can do. Is I, that I it? I know I can't sell it to them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Would you like to? I am pretty deal? sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> we're just There's we're just riffing. <laughs> we're just riffing. Is it my turn? No. no, no, no. If it's <laughs> if that's Skipper's turn. <laughs> <laughs> it's this guy's turn. It's my that's turn. It. It's the end of my turn. And this guy's just gonna dash. Cause that's about it. That what he can do, sadly. Into all over here. And Jory, you are up. What are you doing now? Yay. Uh, I'm gonna start raging. Okay. Bonus action rage. With which totem are you gonna rage right now? Totem of the bear. Ooh, oh, totem shit. of the <laughs> bear. Make it, make it a little more interesting. Make it a little uh, bit more interesting. Interesting. Go it's, ahead. It's not like, not like I can even use Sodom of the Eagle right now, anyways. <laughs> Is it? Um, oh, man. And Jory's like pissed off, or fake Jory, I should say. It's like totally pissed off by what uh, Rex Moe just did to him, and he's gonna go for like a vicious claw attack. Oh, oh that misses. unfortunately misses. <laughs> Is and that it's blinding it for your rage? Turn? He misses. 
Uh, yes, that's that's it. All righty. Then this guy right here, do, 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 he's just gonna move over here to have advantage against you, uh, Ambrose. Uh, need I remind you, your AC is ten because you remove your armor. I did actually say that I put my helmet back on. Oh, you did? Okay, that's fine. Man. Don't worry, don't worry. This guy is going to try and hit you with... That is a total of 18 to hit. That will still hit me, though. That will hit you. Okay, and you will take... Jesus Christ. A total of... Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a lot. That's a big boy damage. That is 11 points of damage, which for you it's half. Luckily. Yes. And that's gonna be it for its turn. Torin, you are up. You see the creatures now up close. They look very ugly. You can see their skin is almost like transparent now. You can see like light almost reflects into it. Gross. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but in this case, Torin would be, of course, uh, be going bare. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You use your bonus action, remember, to be ticking down your uh, points for uh, your shape-shifting. And uh, you go bear. I'm going to make you bigger. And Kipper, you're going to have to be pushed down here because uh, you cannot occupy the same uh, space as bear. Oh, no. Taran bumped me with her <laughs> yeah, big just... bear ham hocks. The big bear butt. Triple B. I got this. You got this. Go ahead, Taran. What are you going to be doing? Where's my bear sheet? You should still have it. I did not remove it. I only see me. I don't see my bear. You don't <laughs> see your bear. Um, I like the way you move it right bear, right bear. I like to imagine that. <laughs> oh, let me let me send you a picture of the bear sheet then, just in case. I don't know what happened. I did have it. I like, like to imagine that Torin is actually just inside of a bear piling it at like a mech. Like a mech. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> a mech. Like a Zoids. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, Zoids, dude. Mm. All right, that. I am DMing you the sheet so you can have it. I don't know what happened. You did have your sheet. I know, wouldn't... it was there. As I was like, am I on the right one? Because I know there's like two, but I don't know. There it is. That is your sheet now. Do but it. as my usual, I'm going to do the, uh, what was it, the multi-attack? Yes, you can totally do that. You have to roll a d20 plus six. D20 okay. So d20 and a d6, you said? No, d20 plus six. That is, oh, that plus. is your attack. And then we'll see so, what damage, if it hits okay. or not. So roll that d20 plus six. No, no, not 16, that's 28. Not, that's not, that's not right I, think, I think that hits. <laughs> I, I think Torrin just, like, ate one of them. All right, plus oh, six, yeah. that There's does 20. hit. Uh, now, roll for your attack. I'm assuming you're going to be doing first claws or bite. I don't know. In, anyways, you are going to have to roll a d8. I am. Yes. Four. One d8 for the damage. One d8 for the damage. There it is. Okay. Okay. Plus four, I think. Yes, sir. That's fine. That's minus eight points of HP. You heard him. And you still have another attack. Another D20 plus six. D20 plus six is going to be the claws. Okay. That's going to be for the claws. Exactly. That does hit. Roll two D6. Two D6. Plus four. That'd be this guy. Okay. Another eight points of damage. He's looking kind of hurt. All right, is that it for your turn? Um, that's all I can do at the moment. Yeah, that'll be it for now. All righty, Ambrose. First of all, your little thingy poofs. Yes, my thing goes away. And uh, you are now sandwiched between the two uh, very yes. nasty looking creatures. What are you doing? I just want to say this doesn't matter right now, but I thought it was kind of funny. Even when Tolan is in bear form, I can actually use bait and switch on her because there's no uh, size requirement. True, you can just <laughs> move an ally. 
I, I just you realized can. that. <laughs> I got the HP. Yeah, you can just move an ally. But, uh, I am not going to do that in this situation, though. Uh, okay. What I am going to do, because I am, I am not leaving anyone's attack radius, so I'm going to okay. go right here, which I that still counts as flanking, correct? With um, um, me and Torin. I will say, that I will really? say yes, because Torin is okay. a large creature, so yes. And so I will target the one that Torin's been attacking. All right, go ahead and roll for your attack. And um, I'll go ahead and use a menacing attack again. Well, okay. I don't actually; it's on a hit, but you know. Right, but you still have to declare it. It, it, func it functions like it functions like a a smite where when I hit, I can. You can do it, yeah. Declare. That's all good. Go ahead. Uh, let's see. Uh, ooh. That does not hit, my friend. Unfortunate. Yeah. You got to uh, put a whetstone to that thing. That'll be your turn. Awesome, Rex Moa. You are up, holding this. Creature grappled. Oh, mm. it's Jory, but uh, you have a slight mm. suspicion that it's not quite the Jory that you know. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? All right. Uh, as me, me and Fo Jory are struggling in the water, I am going to rain down like a hail of fists upon them. Okay. And seeing their effects. So I'm going to first, I'm going to do my unarmed strike. Your unarmed strike? Okay. Yeah. I just think it's thematic. Holy shit. Ooh. And in uh, your struggle, Rexmoa, you guys are like, you know, struggling around, trying to get, you are holding it tightly, mm. trying to get him out of the way. You mm. charge up your fist and you hit the wall behind you. It hurts. Mm. You take one point mm. of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> All right, just one. That's not too bad. <laughs> just one. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's the first of many. Okay, uh, we're gonna we're gonna recover and we're going to do uh, Fury of Blows. So I'm going to spend a key point okay. so I can do two more unarmed strikes. Of course. All right, and these won't be ones. Hopefully not. That does hit. That's not a one. That is not Holy a one. Holy shit! That is big. That right. does not hit. Yeah, I'm just trying. I'm trying to keep this creature at bay and away from the rest of the the crew and just. Wailing down upon them. First mm -hmm. one blow, then another. <laughs> no, you already rolled the two. First one did, oh, hit, so the second one didn't. Okay. Oh wait, no, that's the damage. Sorry, I did not see that. Yeah, both hit. Okay. Sorry, I thought it was so... both an arm strike. Mm. All right. They look really similar. They do look really similar. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's 14 total. Um, after your rage, uh, you see that Jory's not taking as much damage as she should be. Hmm. So that's seven damage. That would be seven damage, correct, Jory? Uh oh, okay. that number is smaller than the number <laughs> that I rolled. Oh yes, it is. Uh, uh, I have I have a look of shock upon my face, but I I cannot give up this endeavor. Wait, I I never got that um strength potion from the courts, did I? I'm not sure if you did. I'm pretty sure you'd have no, not shared the so. potions. Better not. Oops, never actually gave it to anyone. <laughs> it's right here in my inventory, though. <laughs> I don't know if you want to yeah, give it to I, him right now. Can I have it right <laughs> I don't know. Right now, you seem, kind of, you seem pretty well off. <laughs> um, no. I like to also imagine, like, that first fumble was, like, Rex Moa struggling to hit the thing that currently has the face of his friend. Uh huh. That is exactly what I it like was. It. He it's hits thematic. the wall and just kind of hurts himself. Is that it for your turn, Rex Moa? That is it for my turn. Kipper, you're up. You've been pushed back a little bit by a uh, big bear butt. Uh, what are you doing? Oh. Uh, that was the sound of me being hit by a butt. Uh huh. Uh. <laughs> uh does anybody have anything ranged? I'm a little, I'm a little uh, lacking mm. of things like mana or shirt right now. I do carry a crossbow on my pack, but mm. have fun getting it. <laughs> Is there any way you can throw it? Question mark. Question mark. On his turn, of course it is. Uh, don't you have? Oh wait, no, that's right. You're out of mana. You have a single mana point. That's right. 
Uh, what can I do with that single mana point? Honestly, no. I want to keep it for healing. Hmm. Oh no. Uh, you put on your armor, right? Jupiter no, I didn't. Not put on his armor. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't say put my armor on yet because I'm uh, always like very much like, oh, I want people to finish their sentences, but when uh, I let ZJ finish his sentences, bad things happen. <laughs> I mean, you can you can do that like right now. You if, can uh, the putting on the male armor is like two minutes. That would be like ten <laughs> turns. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well. It's evil. Mm -hmm. Evil. Okay, let's see. What do I have? You can I do at least have your to shield. throw my little dagger? You can totally do that, yes. You would give me a dexterity um, roll to see if it hits. Okay. Let's see. Acrobatics? No, just dexterity. Okay. Ability, I'm assuming, instead of save? Yeah. Okay. Onto normal. which one are you going to uh, hit? Uh. Uh, the one that is not currently blocked by bear. Okay, awesome. Yeah, go ahead and roll for that attack. That does hit. You gotta roll a 1d4. That's a dagger. Okay, let's see. 1d4. 1d4 plus 6, sir. That would be, that'll be 4 points of damage. A and this I guy now has your dagger stuck in his freaking... Wherever you hit him. <laughs> Ooh, that's gonna be a good place to keep bonking. Good idea. Is that it for your turn, Kipper? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna like stand there, uh, menacingly with my hammer. All right, awesome, awesome. This doppelganger right here is going to turn around at the bear that's been mauling him, and is going to attack. Does a Ooh, that is a 17. I am pretty sure that hits your bear form. No, not at all. Not at all. No, that don't touch me. It does. That is a total of 10 points of bludgeoning damage for you, Bear Torin. Er. And that is gonna be it for your turn, Jory. Take away the 10. What is gonna okay. happen? Um after I miss that claw, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to try to move in for a bite attack. Oh, I don't think that hits. Uh, does it hit, Rixmaw? Uh, 13? No, it does not hit, actually. It does not hit. Ooh, unfortunately. Yeah. It does not hit. Mm. Darn it. <laughs> Darn it. Um, careful. I'm, I'm, a very, I'm a very vengeful so lizard. Excited. True, true, true. Crimes. That is all I can do. That is all good, Jory. No problem, because it is the turn of this doppelganger right here. And he's going to apply the same strategy as you. <laughs> that is fair. <laughs> Let's see. Now rolling with it, advantage. That is a 19 to hit. Jesus Christ. Freaking Freaking Ambrose has negative luck over there. Oh my goodness, Ambrose, I'm rolling very high damage over here. You take a total of 13 points of bludgeoning damage, almost full oh damage. My goodness. Oop, I actually healed myself. Oopsie. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> That's no fair. <laughs> and that is it for its turn, Torin. You've just been punched by this ugly looking creature. What are you doing? punched me and obviously the bear would growl and go Rah. I'm ready to rip and rando right go now go ahead roll for your attack or attacks if you want to do uh multi attack because you can I'm doing my multi attack I'm going through with this go I'm ahead take this guy down. that will be a d20 okay. plus 6 d20 plus 6 so here's my d20 plus 6 that is a 14 that mm -hmm. does hit Roll your d8 for damage. damage right? I will add the 10 later. 10 points of damage. Ooh, he's starting to look rough already. Good. That's bite. Okay. I'm gonna do claws. Go ahead. D20 yeah, plus six. Yeah. D20 plus a six. That oh, is a one. Seven. 
Torin, you uh, raise yourselves in, uh, you know, your hind legs to swipe down with your claws. But you're a bear, you're a little bit clumsy, and you fall onto your butt. Now you oh. are prone. No! <laughs> As that clumsy misses. Disease. I should have put you guys on the on the battle map so you guys can see. I am I don't know why I'm not using it. There you go, that's better. <laughs> I see it. I'm a little dumb. What's fudge? And is that it for your turn, uh Torin? Uh yeah. Alright. Ambrose, you are up. I will go and start my turn by using my bonus action, a second wind. All right, roll that d10 plus your fighter level. You take Four? seven okay, points. That's not bad. Seven points, right? Yeah, seven points of uh, healing back. Already, and with that, I will go ahead and swing at this guy right here. The one above. Yes. All right, roll for your attack with advantage because you guys are blanking as to our rules. Indeed. I will yes, go sir. ahead and just take the sword, sweep it down low, and then kind of cleave for his legs. All right. Oh, that does <laughs> hit. Take. That oh would have been yeah. bad. Nice. Oh. Take Thank God. That does and hit. And I will go ahead and him. do a menacing attack as well. All right. Our wisdom save, right? Yes. DC? DC Ooh. is 14. It doesn't matter. With, With your damage, he collapses to the ground and okay. sinks down into the water. Wait, before you end your turn, do you have a bonus action? I used it to heal you myself. You already used I, the bonus action. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll go ahead and step in front of this one and I'll just say... You're next. <laughs> good, good, good. And that's about it for your turn. Rexamoa, <laughs> you're still oh, grappling. Uh, yeah, I I definitely was almost on the receiving it's end well of their bite attack, so I will repay it in kind. First, I'm going to do another unarmed strike just to keep keep the pressure on them. Oh my nice. goodness, that definitely hits. Holy crap, you guys are getting very yeah, I, good numbers. I, I, you know, I, I punch I punch Yori and where their liver might be. I, I don't know at this point. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to do my uh, my bonus action of Hungry Jaws. Ooh, so I'm okay. Gonna, I'm gonna take a bite out of you. You gotta roll another unarmed strike. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Go. Come on, please. Ah, that no. Unfortunately, <laughs> misses. You Damn also it. miss with the bite. You punch them, but you can see how mm. when you're about to trump him, he also moves mm. to the side, and you both mm. have not <laughs> you have yeah. not bit each other at all. <laughs> Is that it for your turn? Yeah, that, that's going to be it for my turn. We keep banging our fangs against each other. Keeper. <laughs> you see scene. one of them fall down. The battle is now turned in your favor. What are you doing? Uh... I have one mana, and it looks like I keep forgetting that Torin can also heal people. So I can help. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my one last mana to cast uh, lightning. Ooh! Wait, I just took damage, right? Wait, uh, Ooh, yes, I you took four it. points of damage, uh, Jory. Okay. What uh, what spell are you gonna cast? Lightning. It's guiding bolt. It's technically oh, not guiding lightning, bolt. But yeah. Okay. Forgetting. Okay. Oh, I was about to say we're we're in a room full of water. This is gonna be interesting. I was about to say that is probably not good. But yes, go ahead and well, first of all, who are you gonna cast it against? So I'm currently fighting because it seems like with Jory, he's not taking damage. Well, in you a don't know that. <laughs> Uh, well, actually, no, you would be able to discern that the punches that Rex was given, they're not hurting him too much. Yeah, so it's either physical attacks aren't really good, or uh, there's just something up with his buffness, uh -huh. and he needs to be nerfed. Uh, okay. 
So part of me is wondering if I should just... Also, I'm kind of in the line of range where Jory can jump at me if I attack him. You can still decide to do that anyway, but I'm gonna, like... I figure I can do my guiding bolt to uh, Mr. Blue Man group down there. All right, go ahead and roll for your attack. And check oh, down that last no. mana point. Wait, no. Okay, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna help uh, Rex Moa, actually. Okay. Because I have a feeling Ambrose can deal with Blue Man group by himself. Okay. And I feel like Jory's kind of the main course right now. Hmm. All right. Jory, don't hate me. Because you're probably still wandering around in the fog. And that's not you. And everything's fine. Go ahead then. Roll for your attack. Uh, let's see. Uh, which of these buttons do I press? Do I press the one that says plus five attack? Or the, the one that says plus five attack, yes. Oh, okay. Normal. Roll. That does hit! Roll for your damage. Oh, you have the little damage there. Woo! Kipper! Your guiding bolt seems to have hit, but it doesn't have the effect that you would have anticipated. Jory, you take seven points of damage. Okay. Okay. Is that it for your turn? Uh... Uh, I just have to remove my mana point, and then, uh, seems like I have unarmed strike now, which I'm assuming Well, I that is just because everybody can punch, you know? Yeah, I love punching. Is that a bonus attack or a... Oh, that is an action. You've already used your Only action. Only if you're me. Only if I you're know I've month. already used my <laughs> action. I just didn't know if that was a bonus action. <laughs> mm. As a bonus action, I'm going to watch as Rex Moa and Jury do it MMA style. Perfect. Okay. Because it is Jory's turn. What are you doing? Okay. Um. Let me try for a bite again. Go ahead. Damn, you are rolling very bad today, my friend. Unfortunate. I'm pretty sure that does not hit. <laughs> I think you're rolling pretty good today. <laughs> <laughs> it does not have your turn. Safe to say. Yeah, I haven't done a single point of damage. That yet. is fine. It happens, man. Dies are no Dude, with I'm, us sometimes. I'm doing my job. <laughs> this, this wolf will hurt no one. And this doppelganger is about to hit Ambrose. That is a 16 to hit. God, stop. It does hit? What? Yes, it I'm okay. only wearing chainmail. I don't have a shield. That is a total of 10 points of bludgeoning damage. These guys are really so high in damage. Ow. Holy shit. Okay. Ow. And Ow. Uh, that is it for his turn. <laughs> Torin, <laughs> you me are alone. up. Can I prone? Yes. Uh, if you want to remove the prone the condition, you have to sacrifice half your movement. So basically, okay. just kind of just say, hey, I don't want to be prone anymore. And your movement is halved and you can continue on your merry way. I'm still, so I'm gonna lose like 15, well, 20 in case of the bear. 20, okay, so that's fine. I'll do that. And then, so okay. I would just need to move it then, or? Yeah, I just removed the dot, that's it. <laughs> oh, okay. You, yeah, you just kind of like, you know, you slipped and then you kind of just got back up again. That's it. Here I am. Yes. Okay. So, with the fake Yuri, are we like trying to. KO him, or are we trying mm. to like knock him out? Because I want to uh, do I, I'm not stuff. currently worrying about that at the moment. Uh, okay. I mean, okay. I mean, I'll. I think Rex Mello personally. Yeah, you, you can go for non lethal. Because <laughs> I think I have enough steps to go towards him. I don't have enough to go. Yeah. Oh, you have enough to go to, to be, everybody, honestly. To, to be honest, though, like I'm having enough hard enough time dealing not lethal damage, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> you can you can get to it. Easy. I can knock out the other blue dude. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. I'll go help Ambrose then. All right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my dual attack again. My go ahead. Roll D twenty plus six. 
Oh, that's a nat 20. Oh, okay. That's a, that's a nice. That is nice. a nat 20. Yeah, I like that. That would be 12 <laughs> damage. Plus, roll me another d8. Another d8. Okay. Ooh, damn. Okay, this guy's looking rough now. That's a good damn. 30. Okay. Welcome then, back. Uh, so we'll do another d20. D20 plus, plus six. That does hit. Roll 2d6. Ooh, okay. This guy is still breathing. You can see him very, very messed up, but it's still get it going. Okay. That would be it for my turn, then. That is it. Ambrose, we're up. Right. Take him out. As soon as I now have a friend here, we'll go ahead and... Uh, wrap around if I could t grab my the tables are turned motherfucker yes go ahead and I will go ahead and swing my great sword okay go ahead I that God damn unfortunately it. misses even <laughs> with advantage <laughs> fuck me <laughs> that'll be my turn what would it have been without advantage uh, actually when Ambrose, I, uh, we're, we're gonna throw this sword off the mountain as soon as we get a chance. No. <laughs> uh, uh, would it be an action to, like, throw my crossbow over to... Yes. It is a throw okay. action. It's mm, not okay. a bonus on, action. No. That'll be my turn. <gasps> I got nothing else Rex I can do. Moore. Exchanging mm. blows, dodging attacks. Mm. And you see even Kipper trying to help you out by shooting a very bright fire at the target. Huh. Okay, can you... Can you, like, describe... Like, uh, what's the water level? Like, are we, are we like, well above the water level while while me and, and Fo Yori are, like, prone? No, you guys... Well, the water level for you guys, it's about, like, the middle mm. of your calf. It's not that uh. bad high. Okay. So if you guys are fighting, I mean, there's definitely, you know, you guys are I, splashing about uh, and everything. I was uh, wondering when Tarn yeah. was a fox, if the water was, like, taller than her. <laughs> yeah, you can see only oh, the snoop pulling out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I was going to try to drown fake Yori. I don't think that's enough water, though. <laughs> well, I, it, oh, is, it is if you, like, uh, if you, <laughs> if you like, make that. <laughs> yeah, I don't, think we, I, I don't think that might be a little hard to achieve. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, hmm. I'm trying to think, because I, I think the best thing I could do for the group is just keep doing the same thing I've been doing. Because I, I have darts, but they're not very effective by other people. So I think I'm just going to uh, cast punch. Okay, that Such does it, dude. You're rolling Such so high, Jesus! <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, Jory, you take nine. five points Bye. of bludgeoning damage. All right, and I'm yeah, gonna spend another key point, and I'm gonna beat the shit out of this thing who is pretending to be my pal. Go ahead. All right, let's go. Let's go. Oh my God! Does hit. We gotta, we gotta keep going. Another five points. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, after dude, blow! Dude, after oh blow! Oh my gosh! And that's another four. Yeah, that would be. I, I'm, I'm just oh like in goodness. the flow. I'm in the, the rage. Of Fourteen. Goku over here. You hmm. forget that um, he's a monk. <laughs> I I have news for you guys. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fake Jory is down for the count. Ooh! <laughs> fake Jory is down for the count. <laughs> That will put Sorry. us outside an in of initiative, and as Fake Jory <laughs> fades wait, out of consciousness. I know oh, he's. Yeah. Oh wait, no, this guy. Oh, I mean, he is. Um, these guys are gonna kill him. To be fair, but as Jory <laughs> fades out of consciousness, you can see his body turns into peace, and uh, he just. Oh, oh no, it was a blue man. Oh, it was a blue man. Okay, mm -hmm. it was another, oh. another blue man. And mm. honestly just this guy is gonna die next turn no matter what so i'm pretty sure it's torrent's turn just roll me a d20 plus six he has very low hp so if you hit he's dead that does it so maybe <laughs> 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 you only have two hp you want, you want a six or a six <laughs> 
He only had two HP, so you definitely kill him, and that will put you out of initiative. As the silence settles once again, and you hear a light cracking sound coming from the doors. What? And the doors immediately just they open. In the inside, you, you know, breeze kind of goes through to the inside chamber, and what you can see on the inside chamber is to just a little bit of imagination. Oh. You guys can see on the inside now a little bit better with the light that you are um, in another. It was a small hallway over here in a circular room circular room with five more doors um jory by the way uh you are now out of combat you can stay in the call if you want to don't worry about it he's happy to have you um but for now uh it is uh the turn of the four people so you enter you see this corridor that leads into a circular room five rooms at the end of this corridor uh, if you guys proceed to the inside, uh, you will see each room has a symbol. And the middle one, the largest door, has the same four-pointed star as usual. The other four doors have a flame, a drop of water, a gust of wind, and a boulder. As you guys, uh, well, as, after the doors are open, you can see sconces on each one of these doors. They light up with corresponding colors of, obviously, the element they portray, and they immediately go out again. The doors open, all of them, except for the one with the star. And you are left with a choice. To continue inside and choose your door. Choose our doors. Hmm. I think we have to choose our doors. Also, Kipper puts his clothes back on. Kipper puts his <laughs> armor back on. Perfect. <laughs> you go back to having normal AC now. <laughs> I love having normal AC. Hmm. Uh, Rexmo is immediately uh, attracted to the the water door. Okay. Uh, he, he doesn't quite enter, but he the door is closed, right? The water door is open, and what you would see is okay. another large corridor right. with a door at the end. Mm -hmm. It is a very tight corridor. Mm -hmm. Very tight. Uh, as a matter of fact. So nobody is just inspecting each one of them. All of them seem to be the mm. same. There is a very tight corridor mm. on each one and a door at the end. Mm. Uh, <sighs> similarly, I find myself looking at the one of a boulder. Okay. Uh, before we continue, can we talk about what just happened? Hmm. So, if that wasn't Jory, did we lose him in the, uh, did we lose him in the fog, or was it when we took a short rest, or, like, that had to have happened relatively recently, right? Mm -hmm. Like, we couldn't have been traveling with that this whole time? I'm guessing it's when we woke up in the monastery. Perhaps Jory wasn't actually there, and that thing replaced him somehow. So where is he? Do you think he's still out in the fog? It was the first one to disappear. It was, wasn't he? Uh, I would like to roll to... 
to like dig into my lizard brain uh -huh. to see if I have any insight on this situation from my past travels. Of like what specifically? Uh, of where along our journey uh, Yori could have disappeared and what could have happened to them. Um, give me an inside check. Ooh, Ooh. very okay. average. Very average, very uh, average. With that, I can say that you don't know the specific place, but you could maybe mm. Think the same mm. as Kipper. Maybe the fog was the the reason. Mm. Uh, hmm. Would I have reason to think that Yuri would be alive? You don't know. Mm. Can I roll <laughs> for to Sorry. see if Yuri is alive? Uh, to see when we lost Yuri. Um. Okay. Roll me an inside check. There we go. I'm not sure, but maybe it was in the fog. <laughs> I have I have a plus five, so that means I rolled a nat one. It really? Oh my goodness, it does mean that you rolled a nat one. That's funny. Okay, yeah, yeah. you you, you sure. don't really do you don't really know any other place where he could have been lost. It may be the fog. Oh well. I mean, not oh well, that's actually a big problem. <laughs> I don't want to sound indifferent to my companion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's oh. funny. Uh, well, Rex Moa just reasons that, well, whatever could have happened to Yori. I don't think we're going to be able to find them where we've already been. I think our best bet is to find the rest of these monks that were hiding out and see if they have a clue where these doppelgangers could have absconded with him. No, you're right. You're always the rational one here. Hmm. Actually, I know wait, it's a tough I think thing to. <laughs> I'm flattered. Even after the whole like taking off clothes thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I know it weighs I know you Yori's fate weighs heavy on your mind Kipper but we have to continue mm. yeah no I know I know you're right uh, and then so yeah Rexamoa takes a look around and says well four doors four of us what do we think Uh, what were the, what were the, okay, what were the doors again? I was struggling to go each, back into my real voice. Each of all of them are represented of, uh, representing an element. You can see a drop of water, a flame, a boulder, and a gust of wind. Okay. Yeah, and then, uh, Ambrose, uh, and myself, we essentially are, like, standing in front of the door of our preference, which is the, the water and the stone door. Hmm. <laughs> Yes. So you have the I... gust of wind and the flame. As I mentioned before, all of these doors have a very tight corridor, and at the end there's another door with the same symbol. A lot of sconces I... in this corridor that are off. I turn to Torin and I'm like, uh, is there any door that particularly calls to you? Take the wind door. You pick the wind door, I pick the wind door. I pick the wind door. Okay. That clarifies that. Kipper, so you're gonna go to the fire door, I'm assuming? Um, I guess the fire door is the one that's calling out for me. Alrighty, are you guys heading inside? Because whoever goes through this corridor would notice that the door at the end is unlocked. But as soon as you touch that door, the one before you uh, closes. <laughs> Wait, so the door that we are about to enter through is closed? No, 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 no. Uh, the door that if you go through the car, so the door, then there's a small corridor, then another door. 
if you go to the second door and open it, which is unlocked, the door, the first door, will close. Okay, so the door behind us. Yes. Magical oh, Okay, doors. so it's a... It's a little bit too late to turn back now, I assume. So, if anybody, if everybody are choosing uh, to go through, I don't want to rush you, uh, but mm -hmm. saying, if you guys are choosing to go through, we're going to take uh, turns, because obviously there are four rooms and four people use their brains now. Yeah, so everybody wants to go through? Yeah. Yes, please. Yes. All righty. We'll start uh, with the order that we have it over here in my overlay. So, Torin, we're going to start with you. Uh, please, for all of the other three people, I want you guys to keep silence because this is a puzzle. And I need Torin to be the only one who solves it. Okay. <laughs> Torin. Let me open up my other... No, search for my... Document. I have the fun puzzles for you guys. Can't Not the wait. I'm actually excited. I like puzzles. Yeah, very good. That's what they all say until they have to solve them. You know, it's okay. <laughs> okay. So, let's see. Orin. There you go. I found it. DM. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Thorin, once you enter into the air room, you can see a very nice um, marble room. Uh, it is decorated as you know, with flowers and many beautiful things. And in this door, there are four coffins. They're all white, very pristine and clean. Different from what you have seen before from the um, monastery. Three coffins are smaller and one larger. Each of them have an engraving on them except for the large one. The large one has a text that reads Yeah. Uh, oh, is it on the thing? It should be on the map. If it doesn't go on the map, I am. Hang on. It did. It's all the way up in the map. Perfect. Oh. In the the stone of the the large coffin, it says, "A grave filled on their behalf," or, and you see the next word is missing. Was their epitaph. Now, inspecting the room around you, you can see the engravings of the other smaller coffins. One of them depicts a knight shielding a crowd from a fire breathing dragon. Next one. Depict a woman surrounded by rogue figures and a demon floating over her. And the third one, a male surrounded by flames, saving a child. Oh, okay. So those are obviously three different deities that it's depicting. Okay. Uh, and that's all that's in this room, correct? They are all in the same room, yes. There's nothing out of place anywhere else that I can probably like do like an ins you know, like a to You can give me an investigation check. Yeah, okay. Let's do some investigation. With that investigation check, I can tell you, it all looks very pristine. There is not even a single speck of dust. What only The only thing that you can see is that all the like candles and like sconces are turned off. But, I mean, there's already been a lot of turned off sconces in your way, so 
it probably doesn't spark anything. I will say, however, with that investigation check, um, you are looking to solve what the big uh, grave is missing. Okay. And when I look at that, it's just the words. There's nothing that goes in there. Is that correct? It's There's just like no the indent. words. Yeah, there is no indentation, okay. just the word. The one word is missing. So like, when you say there's missing words, it's like letters I gotta put in into place then? Or is it just something I can write? Or just kind of make sure I understand. How you do not see any puzzle. sort of like thing to put in there. So you either have to write it or perhaps say it. Or say it. If at any point you would it, like a hint, I will allow you to uh, do another investigation check. Depending on your role, it would be the hint that I will give you. Okay. Like, and for each individual, like the man, the woman, and the knight, um, does Torin recognize them, like, in the realm of Crania? Do they seem familiar to her at all? These three figures specifically? No. They are just an engraving in the marble, like a figure, kind of, there. Just depictions? Yeah, okay. depictions. So, a grave pulled on their behalf, or when close their other staff. Would it be... I'm, gonna, I'm looking at the gods right now, would it be Aris? You say the word Aris? Yes, I say the word Aris. As you mentioned, the name of the god of wind, nothing happens. say hope mentioning the word hope nothing happens okay i would like a hint roll me an investigation check With that investigation check, I can tell you the three plaques on the smaller coffin. What do they have in common? That is my hint. Would be a hero. Okay. Hmm. A 
If you say the word hero out loud. All surrounded by something. Wait, air? As you speak the word air, I speak the word happens. air. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Is it a person, place, or thing? <laughs> if you like a hint, you'll have to roll a, uh, an investigation check. Oh, yeah, I think I forgot to tell you. You get three hints. <laughs> Only get three? Oh, yes. okay. Well, All right, if you need some time, I can go to the next trial for somebody else and give you some time to think. Yeah, try to go to another person. Cause awesome, I... awesome, awesome. Yeah. All right, Rex Moa. You open up your room and enter. What you see first is a stone room mm -hmm. with moss growing sides and uh, on the floor the floor is sticky slippery and you see a single lever in the middle of the room on the opposite wall from when from where you have arrived you see a depiction of a carving in the stones of the water titan Ixus. Hmm. And that's it for now? That is it for now. All right. Uh I <clears throat> Hmm. I get down on both knees in front of the carving and I ask and I I hold my hands above my head and I ask in sincerity, Ixus, please guide my way. And I I feel along the carving to see if there's anything I can manipulate. Along the it. carving of Ixus? Yeah. No. The carving is just the stone, like carved into the shape of the sea uh, serpent that is Ixus. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I nod my head and you said a single lever and moss, right? Yep. There's like moss on the walls. Uh huh. On the uh, walls, on the ground, the floor mm. is kind of sticky. Mm hmm. Slippery, I... that would be the actual term. Hmm. I'll, I'll run my claws along the moss on the wall to see if I feel any like protrusions or anything. They also, I, I give it a little, a little smell. Other than the, you know, the 
little edges of the stones that have been laid in there. You don't feel anything. Um, however, you do ha you do get a scent of uh, humidity. Very, very uh, humid. This room. Huh. Okay. Uh, Rex Moa mumbles to himself and says, "Well, I hope I still got it." And I approach the lever, and I examine it. Like, is it in, like, a neutral position? Is it, like, a one way or the other? The lever is uh, moved to one of the sides. Uh, you can mm. see that, obviously, the mechanism of the lever will allow it to move mm. uh, to the other side. Give me uh, an investigation check for that lever. Okay, can do. All right, come on. Right, Ooh, very good. With that investigation check, I can tell you, you can see that the mechanism of the lever is very rusted. While kind of wiggling about a little bit to kind of test it out, you can see it still works. Maybe it won't work too many times. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Well, Rexmo takes a deep breath and then he pulls the lever. All right. And waits to see if anything happens in the room. Pulling the lever, you hear uh, mechanisms moving below you and to the sides of you. And suddenly, from the cracks of the stone, water. The room starts filling up with water rapidly. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, this doesn't really panic Rex Moa at all. He takes a look at the rest of the chamber. So there's the doorway he entered, right? Uh-huh. And what does is, what is the rest of the chamber look like? Is there anywhere like above where it looks like I could access if I wait for the water to rise up? Nope. So hmm. the, there are four walls made out of stone. One has the carving of Ixis. The floor and hmm. the ceiling are also made out of stone. Okay. Um, does the moss start to wash away? To interact uh, with the water at all? Not really. Mm. The moss is starting mm. to get. Um, but with that investigation mm. check, I can tell you the moss is definitely mm. caused by the water. Yeah, water rising. Okay. Uh -huh. All right, and it leads all the way up. Okay. And oh, mm. check something real quick out of you, because I'm pretty sure you get something fun being a uh, lizard folk. Okay, perfect. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yep. The room is starting to fill up fast. Rex Moa. And uh, to the point where it's up to your waist now, and it's going to continue filling up. All right. Uh, I took a look at the carving of Ixus one more time and see if it has, if anything noticeable has changed with the introduction of this water. Well, as a matter of fact, you see that once the water has reached some of it, the part that is underwater have, has some glow to it. All right. Uh, hmm. Rex Moa stands by the lever and takes a deep breath and waits. Easy enough. A few seconds pass and the room is completely submerged in water. Rex Moa, you being a lizard folk, have 15 minutes of oxygen that I'm going to time right now. As okay. this puzzle starts. Timer starts right now as you see Rexmoa, the uh, statue of Ixus now has a lot more glowing um parts the eyes glow but what you notice is on the side of the walls the ceiling and the uh the floor carvings that look like you know the normal i guess edges of the stone just kind of put together. They are now glowing. And you see letters appear. Okay. Uh, so I, I examined them. All right. 15 minutes. F T R U I E O D T. Hmm. Remember, uh, you have so three hints. <clears throat> I can give you at any time. 
Your time okay. is running. I will say this. Yeah. So I, I'll approach the one closest to me. I let's just say it's the eye, uh-huh. and I, I touch it to see if it like uh, I can manipulate it at all. Like press it as a button or like you know rotate it. Once Something you like that. touch it, the glowing letter goes above uh, the carving of Isis. It takes one place above that the carving of Isis. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, Re- Rex Moa thinks to himself, oh, okay, one of these. And he starts thinking, as in I start thinking, as in I'm looking at these letters and I'm writing them down and I'm trying to keep in mind what is related to Crania. God, I, I solved today's wordle. Uh, spoilers, it was the word goofy. <laughs> uh, I think I'm all warmed up for this. Perfect. Okay, Ixis. Ixis. Oceans, rivers. All right. F T R. Hmm. Uh. So, what I'm gonna start doing is I'll I'll just touch, I'll just start touching letters and see if after a certain point, like after a certain amount of letters, it does anything. Like the. So you can see. Yeah. As you mm-hmm. go around touching the letters, you can see that after nine letters, okay. it kind of holds on to a second. Mm. And if you've been touching them randomly, they would disappear mm. and go back into their spots once again. Okay. Ah. Thinking. Thinking. So, uh, That's a good <laughs> idea. Green is saying how much time you guys have. Okay. Uh, well... Let's say I have the same amount of time that Rexmo has. Okay. I think it's isn't accurate enough. Oh, uh, hmm. Uh, well, the, fi- the thing that sticks out to Rexmoa is that he can spell the word fruit. So he spells the word fruit with these letters. As you spell uh, the word fruit with the letters, you can see that nothing is happening. And that four, mm. uh, that would be one, two... Three, four, five. Yeah, four more letters are still glowing. Hmm. Okay. Uh, he spells out fruit dote because he loves fruit. <laughs> For dote, <laughs> the yeah. letters go back into their spots after they use uh, have used them all. Uh, he he like shakes his head and he like puts his fist to his forehead. And it's like ah, oh, that was so silly. Why would you? Why do you think it was gonna be that? Okay. Hmm. So it's not for. <laughs> so nine letters, nine letter word. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, you know what? I, I think four minutes has passed on my timer. I'll take that first hint. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and roll me an investigation check. Okay. Let's roll. Let's hope my dungeoneering skills keep up. Oh, no, that's not going to. Uh, I don't think that's going to do it. The hint that I can give you is that you have to form a nine-letter word. <laughs> you know what? Good hint. Hmm. All right. Rex Moa's eyes are darting around. They... Hmm. Ah, the panic hasn't quite set in, but it's definitely creeping up. Not fruit. I gotta remove fruit from my mind, and I'm talking as Villasaurus. Correct, <laughs> <laughs> okay. because you have just passed the 10 minutes mark. All right. What other words can I spell? This is this is like an episode of Fear Factor over here. Like I'm trapped in the cage and it's underwater, and I have to like solve the combination lock before I drown. Oh yeah. As in, like I have to. As in, like, the, the people are just, like, waiting outside the temple to, to save me in case anything goes wrong, right? Okay. Hmm. What does Ixus represent? Hmm. Hmm. All right. I wish I could... You know what? I'm going to pull out a pen and paper. Sure. Okay. On my side. Go ahead, right, go ahead. ahead. We got. I need to uh, start unscrambling these words. All right, F, T, 
R U I E O T E. Uh, not fruit. Right. <laughs> it's still on fruit. <laughs> yeah, it's just right. I, okay, when you play like the. <laughs> Like the wordle, you can like scramble up the letters, so it's like okay, you can kind of get different ideas. Or like uh if you've ever played words on stream. Okay, you're right. Uh hmm. It's not fruit. Okay. Ah, uh, you know what? Time is running out. I'll do I'll use my second hint. We got these hints, may as well do them. So okay. another investigation check. Yes, sir, another investigation check. With that investigation check, I can tell you. It is one of the most important value of Ixus. One of the most important values of Ixus. Hmm. 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 Uh, Rexmo just starts, uh, typing in, uh, random things, like diet, for, for you. <laughs> <laughs> just more food things. Nothing happens. Diet okay. for two. For two. Hmm, okay, Everybody. nothing Shush. happens. Let mm. him think. <laughs> okay. Hmm... Oh wait, shit. Alright, uh I can spell, right? Uh-huh. Alright, so F O R T I T U Okay, I spell out the word fortitude. You spell out the word fortitude. It takes a second. The letters disappear. And the water level starts going down. <laughs> As the water level has gone down, the sconces, well, the door unlocks behind you, and the sconces have a very bright blue flame, and it opens all the way onto the circular. Mm. Uh, Rex Moa chuckles himself, to himself a little bit, and, and says, still got it. And then he looks at the the carving of Ixus, bows his head down, and uh, proceeds to the opposite side of the chamber. Dude, Perfect. for real, sponsored by the New York Times. Thank you, Wordle. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. I don't think you're going to have a lot more time, so let's go to, to Torin over here. We'll leave the next two trials for the next one. How about that? Because uh, I don't think I don't think we'll have a lot of time for this. So, Torin, it is your turn. Everybody else, Trish. I got four words. Okay. It possibly makes sense because epitaph is basically the end. It is death. You know what I mean? Uh huh. It stands for. It's just a slogan for an end. So I'm gonna go with the first one where I'm gonna go with fear. You mentioned the word fear. Okay. And then. And I have bravery. Ooh. Say the word bravery. Nothing happens. Pride. Same deal. Nothing happens. And then I was just, I just kept it simple. I said death. <laughs> That's kind of redundant, but I know. <laughs> nothing <laughs> like, happens. I don't know. <laughs> it don't help any. Uh, bravery, though. Heroism? Ooh, interesting. But nothing happens. Wow. Damn. I remind you, you still have two hints. deal with something with some kind of hero heroic 
endeavor of some sort. Uh-huh. A grave filled on their behalf. For folly was their epitaph. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to figure out what kind of word would go there. What would it be? What would it be? Uh, I'll do my investigation. I'll All do right. my second one. Roll for your investigation check. Okay. I'm just try to see if maybe... What I can find out with those images. Oh, Ooh, it is a very low. Uh, I can give you something. Um, each engraving of the smaller graves is supposed to mean something. Each of the smaller graves. Of the smaller, like, plaques of the smaller graves are supposed to mean yeah. something. Like, those three small ones all mean something to the big one, obviously. Uh huh. The hidden message. Correct. Which is none of the words that I've said before. And then I'll just use my last one then. To okay. See if maybe hopefully. Go ahead. Better pop up. Ooh. Okay. Well, I can tell you that you are doing it right. You are supposed to finish the phrase of the bigger one. Mm -hmm. It is a whole phrase with one word missing. There's nothing in the room. Nothing, nothing. No other symbols that, that she can see. Nothing's out of place. Everything's nope. pristine. Everything is pristine. Very beautiful carved out of marble. White marble. It's not the god. I can repeat them for you if you want to. Uh, all of the smaller plaques are meant to symbolize something. A word that will finish the sentence, the entire sentence. Right. And it's something each of these three have in common. Correct. Man, I'm drawing a blank. Okay, um, we will do yeah. something fun. <laughs> I will allow you more hints, but every hint you take will take you will take one d eight points of damage. Oh, okay. Valor. You mention valor, and nothing happens. I'm assuming they all died from trying to protect whoever was they were trying to protect. That's what I'm. That's what I'm getting, anyways. Out of those. Are graves um, in there? So you would be correct. Right. And they all were doing something heroic, and it's all grave themed. So that's what's that's what's all drawing to my brain is that they all obviously died. Uh huh. I just gotta figure out what word would actually fit in there. Okay. I'll just take a, I'll take a, I'll take a hit. Um, All right. I'll take another. another roll for you, you roll an investigation check. Okay. Ooh, okay. That is pretty good. You take six points of damage. And with that almost perfect, um, dice roll, I will say, uh, your hint is, and this one's got to be a very good one. Um, it's the action of each of the smaller plaques. Uh, 
that that is as as good as I can give you without doing it. What was the action? It is one word, and I can tell you as a hint, it is the action of each and every one of the smaller ones. Defender? Nothing happens. Can we I fly well, you have more hints for damage. That is the lifeline, is the taking damage for I will say every time that you do uh, a hint for damage, uh, the DC is getting lower. So eventually you will get pretty much almost everything for you. But adds us to your HP. Yeah, I got it. Um I'll try one more investigation to see what happens. Alrighty. That is two points of damage. And roll for your uh, check, please. Okay. Ooh, okay. Very good, very good, very good. Okay. So, the hint I can give you... is while all the three smaller plaques are not the same the word of each one of them is exactly the same perhaps not in the same context because there is one of them that is meant to Surrounded, is it? No. Nope. No. I will say also, it is not a word that I've written here. <laughs> okay, I was about to say that when you said it was a word there, I was like, oh, is it one of those words? Oh no, no, God. I mean the the word that is meant to, you know, be the the solution. The solution to what it was going on, right? Yeah, exactly. As I said, it is the action that is happening depicted in the plaques. They are all the same word, but one of them is in a different context. Getting getting close to very low HP, but your hints are getting better. Yeah, I guess I'll tr I'll take another one at this point. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> well, for your uh, investigation, and you take four points of damage. Well, I got ten good berries, so... You were right a few times. The word that you're looking for is a virtue of Oris, the Wind Titan. And it begins with the letter S. That is because I know you only have two HP left and not take more hints. Suffering was their epitaph? You mentioned suffering and nothing happens. Okay, so not suffering. Savior? Mentioning that word, nothing happens. I will say it could be, but as I mentioned, it is the action of the picted in the smaller plaques and it starts with an S. So that narrows it down quite a lot. And one of them is in a different context, man. Oh, but it is the same word. Shielding? Shielding happens. Almost got it, buddy. You almost got it. Yeah. Okay. 
some answers. I know. Um... You are right there, buddy. You are right there. You're almost, almost there. Shelter? Shelter has no effect. Unfortunately, I can't give you more because that is as much as I can tell you without saying the word. It starts with the letter S. It is the action depicted in each of the descript of the plaques. One of them has a different context to throw you off, but they're all the same word. And it is related to the Air Titan. And, oh, and it starts with the letter S. I don't know if I mentioned that. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure you've already said No, safeguarding you didn't, but shielding and all of that. Uh, it just has no effect. I will give you the final hint, but you will you will end up at one HP. How does that sound? And I don't That's know stupid. if it, I don't I know if it's stupid. obvious. <laughs> I don't know if it's obvious. If it's that or obvious, not. I I feel dumb. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Oh my god. Um. Okay, let's just just go for it. All right. Put yourself at one HP. Just at the brink of dying. And cool. for my last hint, I can tell you the action that they did resulted in Oh yeah, that was a freebie. You didn't need to do investigation, but that's fine. <laughs> I was like, ah, kind of figured, but let's see. It's not shelter. It's not shielding. It's not shelter. It's not safeguarding. Not fending or anything like that. It starts with an S. Starts with an S. Um, you're only ten forty. Oh crap! What um, would act should be that led them to this end? Sacrifice. I mean. <laughs> I got a lot of negative words. Once I can't you think speak, of any positive words. <laughs> sacrifice. All the candles light up. And the door behind you unlocks. The sconce is bright is shining a bright yellow flame. As you are allowed in 